Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy, I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy. You're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma- No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me.
So in a fun turn of events, I'm pretty sure everything just closed on me, which is real funny. Um, what on earth is going on? What the heck is happening? I'm getting a little concerned. We're gonna be fine. There we go. We're back. I've had one of the more hectic days I've ever had in a hot minute. But we're here and we're ready to play Arcade Spirits The New Challengers. I'm really excited. This game comes out tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I got nothing. This was just, I've been fucking hyped about this game for a very long time. And by that I mean several months. Not nearly as long as some people who have been, you know, waiting even longer for that. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. But it's been very strange because, like, so this keeps closing on me. It gets very grumpy. But we're good. We're here. We're live, I think. And yeah, we're going to get into it. We're just going to get into it. I'm gonna move to just make sure everything else looks good and hasn't decided to reboot itself entirely. No, excellent, we're doing fine. Bongo Cat, I love you, but I, f oh, well, I guess my mouse is still gonna be a thing. Not really as much of a thing in this game, Bongos. You can go, you can go hide for a hot second. I don't know, I don't know. Ugh. I make no promises how long tonight's stream goes for it purely because we know how much I've been looking for in this game. That's all. That's all I've got for you. This is like the ultimate Thirsty Thursday. Why did I not name the stream that? Failure on my part. Absolute failure. That's okay. <sighs> We're fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be uh, just fine. Just fine. I'm in that like mental state of paranoia also of like, is everything, did everything work? Are we okay? We're fine, right? Yeah, we are. It's, we're good. Anyways, so we're gonna kick into it and get going and life is gonna be good. Oh my God. Hello again. You know me, don't you? We've met before. Actually, I'm gonna make sure, yeah. Okay, everything is on, everything is good. I'm also like options. I haven't played with the, okay, we're sticking with neon. Background animations are off. There's background animations? I assume that's with BG. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, we're gonna put that a little bit. Dialogue, short quips. Oh, okay, this is cool. Sorry, I know, like, I probably should have just gone through all this to begin with, but we're doing just fine. Keep them with the neon, though, I love it. Yes, I remember you from the original Arcade Spirits. Welcome back. Before you start playing the new challengers, do you wanna impor import your decisions from the previous game? I think it'll, it'll adjust a few things in the story to come. What do you think? That's exciting. Okay, I'll import your data. Thanks, now go, now off you go, have fun. I don't think I realized it was gonna do that. Okay, the following is a work of fiction. All references to trademark classic arcade game Titles are used under nominative fair use and should not be considered an endorsement by the publishers or creators. For content warnings, visit arcadespirits.com slash forward slash content warning. We'll see W for content warnings. I missed the soundtrack. I'm not going to lie. I missed it a lot. This is so retro. I love it. Oh my life. Level one, ultimate team up. Okay, so I feel like level one is gonna be similar-ish to the demo. Which means we, not that we're gonna go fast through it, um, but also I think the demo only lasted like 45 minutes. So we're gonna have time to like get through maybe the second chapter, or at least like get into chapter two. Oh yeah, I'm like insanely competitive in this game. Well, this will be interesting. It's 
far back as I can remember, my dreams were always ones of victory. The roar of the crowd, the gleam of gold, the pulse pounding action, struggling against all odds to reach the very top. Achievement. Recognition. Triumph. When you're young, you don't put much thought as to why you crave victory, you just do. You wanna be the very best like no one ever- Oh yeah! This is where I started with all my Pokemon references in this game. You yeah, know. Yeah, no. That's how I named him Gary Oak. And now I'm an adult. Sometimes I catch myself in the middle of that single-minded pursuit and wonder. Why? What does victory really mean to me? That's what I want to understand. That's what I need to understand. Oh, lordy. Because dreams are lovely, but reality can be a punch in the gut. Uh-huh, yep. Don't we know it, my life. Okay. News update. Fight Shack. With Punchy78. I don't think this is from the demo. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Punchy78, here with Fight Shack News. All the fighting that's fit to post. Okay, interesting, interesting. We got the hottest news coming at you about everybody's favorite action strategy esports phenomenon, Fist of Discomfort 2. Okay, maybe it was. If you've ever wanted to go oh, pro and play games for a living, now's your chance. The FOD2 Pro Tour is starting this year. Okay, so Fist of, Com Fist of Discomfort 2 Pro Tour. Sponsor teams only earn points through local and national events. Top 8 will compete in the final showdown, Glory and Fame, Immortality. If you ever wanted to go pro and play games for a living, now's your chance. The FOD2 Pro Tour is starting this year. Major esports organizations are already snatching up new players in hopes of building the perfect championship team. Why is there an asterisk next to immortality? Where's the disclaimer against it? I feel like it should exist. We'll have more news in the months ahead as events are added to the Pro Tour. And don't forget to show your boy Punchy78 some love. Like, share, subscribe, and smash that bell. Sir, I see you are also a YouTuber. Just 200 points behind, we can pull ahead. We got this. Hit the item shop, buy an ultimate technique scroll, blink back to the fight, loop, loop around behind my opponent while my partner runs a distraction. Evade that ninja, interrupt the casting animation, sweep in, activate fivefold exploding death fist, and there! Dun dun dun! Seventh win of the day! Hell yeah! Feels good to be on a hot streak. Not just today, we've been topping the leaderboards as of late. I wonder, exactly how far could I really take this winning streak? Punchy78 said it himself that major esports teams are looking to sign talented new players. Heck, I'm talented enough. This game does not take into the fact that I do not play. Like, I'm I'm not good at video games. I don't know if anybody realizes that. Maybe it's time to chase down that childhood dream. With the official pro tour on the horizon, this could be my moment if I decide to go for it. One shot to show the world I can do it. See, I feel like it picked up with this. Maybe I'm crazy. It is the distant future 20 something or other. Arcades and video gaming as a whole are a part of the daily life. I've lived in the city long enough. I've walked past countless little arcades, major franchise gaming centers, retro console gaming shops, and more. We got lucky though. I've read on many reputable theory crafting sites that there was almost a major video game crash in 1980 something due to the market oversaturation. That had actually happened. Arcades would have lost any chance at worldwide popularity. Games we looked down upon as kitty toys and little else. Thankfully, the industry sorted itself out and that theoretical crash was averted. Now, 20-something or other is a gaming paradise. What if there's a chance that an alternate dimension exists and those gamers are trapped in the darkest timeline? I am sorry. Forgot how sassy the dialogue is in these games. What are you talking about? We know we're in the darkest timeline. Ugh. Sorry for your luck. In that universe, you can't go from a zero to hero. No, you really can't. But here, you can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can really do it. Look, let's be honest. Right now, I don't have much going on in my life other than being pretty darn good at video games. But if I could really lean into that, find the success and accomplishment that I crave through Fist of Discomfort, it's a great dream to have, right? Great dream. I just need the courage to make it happen. According to Fight Shack, it sounds like the major teams are seeking new talent, and I'd like to think I'm a strong prospect. First, I'll need to get online and see who's recruiting. 
Fortunately, I practically live on the internet, so I can surf information super high right to so I can surf the information superhighway right to glory. PC is my nexus of both work and play, the good old beige tower of power, and the same computer I had when I was a kid. How the hell does it last you? Okay, replace pieces along the way. There we go. I'm sorry, computers just don't last. Um, replace pieces, but along the way, of course, so many pieces that it's practically the computer of Theseus at this point, but it's mine and I love it dearly. Time to boot up and get to work. I feel like this is still new. Oh no, this is the character creator. Okay, sorry, this is where... I know, why didn't they replace the case? It's still that boring beige thing. Also, hey honey, how's it going? Like, it's just one of those... Of all the things you didn't replace? Or at least, like, do something with? I don't know, I put stickers on everything. Maybe that's me, though. Alright, yes, I know my operating system is an ancient eyesore, but I've tweaked and can recompile bits of it until it does what I need to do, and that's what matters. Ah, very nice, very nice. Well, yes, good. No! Why? Oh, I have not heard a dial tone, dial up modem sound in a hot minute. Ah, I'm old and that means something to me. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> let's get over that. A few clicks and us later and I'm online with www.discomfort.fist, the official FOT2 community. Before I start sending out my resume, maybe I should update my profile. Sometimes the site messes up my personal me metadata. Okay, cool. <sighs> this is where we're gonna have fun, and by that, I mean I will spend the next forever. If we met me? Okay, name and profile. Player handle. I actually just wanna do, I think I'm gonna do rogue. Actually, I could use my old one. How many? Okay. <laughs> oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Um, oh god, that's so many options and I forgot that and I love it. Uh, we love doing the envy status here. Thank you, folks. Oh yeah, my online avatar, I can switch that. Where do I switch this? Oh, there. Skin tone. I am unfortunately pale as shit. And I will maintain that. Online avatar. I could choose a skull the last time. I could choose poop. Some pretty decent avatars. Skull! We're going with the skull. We haven't met me. This is pretty much how this rolls. Hairstyle. I forgot there's so many options with this. Oh no, not so many options. There's a, there's a good number of options here. The problem is like, oh wait, no, this is exactly what I want because this is basically what I have. I forgot that I could basically make my exact hair in this game, which I'm, I love, this makes me happy. Anyways, there's the hair. In my like shade of purple. Eh, yeah, we'll go with the brighter shade of purple. That'll look good. Eye color. Blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. Okay. No selection. I don't, what is? Sometimes I don't know what to put down for character creators. I'm like, I don't know what my anything looks like. What did you want? What did you expect from me? What do I look like? I don't know. Uh, body type and shirt. Oh yeah, I do like... The problem is I like the blazer vibe. Not a problem. I just happen to like the blazer vibe. I think we're gonna go this direction. Like, it's funny because I did this before and you'd think I'd remember my selections and I absolutely do not. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to go... Yeah, that's probably more accurate, actually. Um, oh, heck. Oh, nope. Oh, I do like that. 
Problem is, this is accurate to what I wear. OBS, I swear to God. OBS, you're supposed to like me. I thought we were friends. We're good. Okay. We're feeling this. Problem is I like glasses. I think this looks cute. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Um, headwear. I might not do head. Oh, <gasps> I forgot I can do a cute. Oh, we're doing the cute baseball cap. Yeah. Okay. This is pretty much the vibe. This is a pretty good vibe. I accept this vibe. I like that there's a small, okay, so you can kind of see this, but there's like a small and an XL, and I guess it's depending on how much how much hair you chose to have. Um, cool. Okay, that, so it doesn't take forever. Um, but I did do, I do want to see, okay, because I, the glasses is not accurate. I could have super sweet shades though. I just feel like my face looks so big otherwise. And I just look cute. Like, <laughs> right? Hi, Katsy. Like, look at that. Okay, but okay, Katsy, you've seen how I dress. This is actually fairly accurate to me, right? <laughs> this isn't super far off. I have face, I have a lot of baseball caps. Holy shit, it's insane. I forget about it sometimes. I see. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. The one problem is the glass. Okay, because like without glasses, my face looks weird. Does my face look this weird normally? Maybe. Maybe it does. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe I just like secretly crave the hipster look. Like I don't know if that's what it is. Because with this, it's just it's also really cute. Oh, maybe it maybe I've just been looking at it for so long with the glasses, and that's what it is. Maybe we'll get used to this. I don't know. How are you doing, Katsy? How's it going? How you be? How you be doing? Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say this person needs like this one needs glasses. And like as much as I normally love the circular rim ones, like they're always so cute. My sunglasses are actually like circular rim, like the circle ones, and it's really cute. Yeah, okay, now we're gonna stick with this. It just fits. Ooh, oh, someone, oh no, someone broke your, broke your ergonomic mouse, like, and those guys are expensive. Those ain't cheap. Also, I'm so sorry you were in the office today. That is disgusting. I don't know, it says, I don't. Okay. Upside, you haven't missed, okay. Hella expensive. So I left a giant hot pink sign. Good. Good. That's so frustrating. Which one of the ergonomic mice do you have? Like, is it the ones that, like, have it upright so that way? Like, I think of it as an upright mouse. It's supposed to being like this. You're holding things like this. Is that right? That's the, like... Hello and welcome to the streamer is old and... Not to call the rest of the people who watch this stream also old, but most of y'all are in the age range of me. Which means ergonomics matters suddenly. Because, like, I, like... I have an ergonomic keyboard for a lot of reasons, folks. Like... <laughs> y'all, my... I need to take care of my body. Anyways. The roller bar. Oh, Jesus. That's brutal. My hands hurt because of work now. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Everybody, just stretch out your wrists. That is now my new demographic is old elder millennial who have wrist and or back problems and probably mental health problems. <laughs> 
That is the demographic of people on my streams. <sighs> Reporting for duty. Oh my god. I mean, I, there is no lie, okay? There is absolutely no lie. Oh, hello. Sorry, I did my own stretch as I crack my back a few times over. Ooh, mama. Okay. So. I love this. I also love those pants. I'm not gonna lie. Perfect. This is nearly what I wore yesterday. So I actually... <laughs> I put on a blazer yesterday and people on work calls were like, oh my God, you look so fancy today. You're so dressed up. And I'm like, I am in tear, like torn up jeans and a tank top. I'm not wearing a bra. I haven't in a long time. Um, the blazer is purely for show. And it's also because I was too lazy to put it back in my closet after I unpacked last week. From the, from the event that I was at. Oh, it really does. It fools everybody. So like when I told them, I was like, no, 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 y'all, it's been laying on my bed in the pile of clothes that tend to lie on my bed for the last week. They're like, oh my God, you're so silly. And I'm like, have you not met me? What, what part of this surprises you in the slightest? It shouldn't. Anyways. Blazers make everything extra fancy, but it's always so funny, especially when the rest of me is like, there's nothing here. Today I'm wearing a jumpsuit though. My favorite is when I get complimented on this and I'm like, thanks, this is like a work jumpsuit for an industry I don't even work in or even remotely or am with. Yes, this is correct, this is me. I love it. Not a bad win-loss record, very good for an amateur player. In fact, hopefully that's enough to entice a pro team into giving me a shot. But while I'm here, curiosity takes me. I wonder how my rival is doing. I'm changing to a kilt when I got home. I despise pants now. Good. That's fair. I... I have some... I don't have any kilts anymore, which is very sad, and I really should remedy that. Um, I have several skirts, and... Actually, no, I only bought... I bought two skirts recently, so I own two skirts. I haven't noticed. But one of them is really cute because it has like the elastic suspenders and stuff like that. I don't know. It's really cute. It's very... It's for when I'm in like super femme mode because apparently... Which is almost never. <laughs> it's when I'm pretending to be a human. That's it. Otherwise, I live in... Jumpsuit is like... This is like a kiku. Like it's comfy. I move around and I have giant ass pockets. And I'm like quite like a kiku. Unfortunately, it means fully just robing basically to go to the bathroom, which is a major downside to both. My, but yes, Arrival. Oh my god, did you not watch me play the, uh... Okay, we get to do... We get to design Arrival. That's like the... Not the best part, but it's a pretty dope part of this entire damn game. Okay. Who is this person? I don't know. We'll actually give you some melanin here. Ooh. Problem is, color just starts looking weird at some point, and I don't know why. Okay, we're gonna stick in the middle. Kilts these days are basically car. It's so true. Okay, I quite like that, actually. I'm gonna do everything else first, and then we'll name them. We're gonna see what they look like. Um, well, that's kind of cute. Coffee, coffee's not a bad one. Dice, 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 baby. Um. Cupcake. Cupcakes. Actually, I kind of like cupcake. Cu We're going to stick with cupcake for right now. Hairstyle. Here's the thing is I like... I just kind of want everybody to have really long hair. Is that weird? Oh my god. Navy? Navy blue hair. Even just this music is a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty. Damn it, I probably shouldn't make you hot. You're supposed to be my rival. Oh no, I like the teal hair. Fuck, okay, we're gonna go with it. Or, ooh. <sighs> Shit. 
No, I think I like teal better. I know, it's gonna go, we're going rivals to lovers at this point, folks. Um, I do wanna say, like, I'm gonna switch the hat too. We're gonna do the casual beanie. This we'll probably do in the gray then. Shit. This is cute, I know. Oh no! Okay. I can't decide what I want to do. No, you know what? You feel a lot more casual as a human. I am the blazer bitch in this joint. Uh, you can be the hooded one. I will show... Oh, yeah, I can't switch your shirt color. Okay, then I want to go with this anyways. Pants. You definitely have pants. Okay, no. Those are... Jeans are cute. We could go dark, though. Dark slacks. Could do something. Ah, nope, that's too much. That's not bad. Sorry, we're going very... I don't know why I'm so worried about the style of things. Ooh. It's not bad. It's not a bad vibe. I promise that's my paint color already. I don't want brown, though. Green? Ooh, oh, okay, actually. Hmm. That's kind of cute. I know, you gotta look at it. <laughs> it's seriously though, and I just, it's figuring out like the color balance even too. Knowing that that sweater stays the exact same color kind of messes, I know, right? This is actually pretty cute. Especially with like the teal hair. I don't like, okay, nope, that's two. That's, no. This, this is actually pretty decent green. Hello! Welcome to, this is not my character, I'm creating my rival. And unfortunately, I think I'm making them attractive. This isn't even my character, yeah, no. I did my, oh yeah, no. You get to design your rival in this game. I'm designing my rival right now. It's delightful for the record. They don't have a name yet. I did, however, give them a, a cupcake avatar icon. <laughs> Um, so, okay, I think, ooh, I think we're going to stick, okay, this is too close to their hair color, I can't make it their hair color, but I think this works out really nicely, this looks, this feels balanced to me, welcome to the difficulties I am facing. Um, nose selection. I like, the nose is fine. I don't think I need to do anything with the nose. Glasses. Do they need glasses? Oh no. That's too hipster. That's too librarian. Nah, I think we're gonna leave you without glasses. Yeah, I haven't named them yet. Like, I know that there's a bunch of these pieces, but we haven't named them. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to do the, oh god. Okay. Tell us how you really know, right? <laughs> Okay, what am I naming this person? I haven't come up with a name yet. I thought I would figure it out by the time we hit this point. I did not though. And this is their handle. So that your handle actually is what gets used um, instead of your name. Oh, I should have done Pixie. I did not do Pixie. I used my old one. I used Chaotic Rogue because it was fun. Um, thought it was cute for a hot minute. So we'll do, we did that. It also sounded vaguely threatening, at least more threatening than Pixie. But, uh, no, so what, oh, what am I naming you? In the demo, I'm pretty sure I named it, oh, it's Pokemon Master in there. Dark Pixie's not a bad one, but Cupcake is pretty funny. I'm just gonna call them Cupcake from here, here on. Oh, Cupcake. Uh, actual name. Last time I named him Gary Oak. <laughs> I made him a Pokemon person the last time. Uh, God, I don't do well at naming. It's perfect for when you guys become more than rivals. It's true. Oh my God. Have anybody's ever watched Arcane? Um, 
That's also a great place where Cupcake comes into play. Because, uh, Vi calls Caitlyn that constantly, which is really funny. You know what's Yeah. Anyways. Actually, we'll go with Vi. That's not a bad one, actually. <laughs> this is a terrible... Ch so I put V-I as the first name. Olet is the last name. Violet. Now it's violent. Violent. Yeah, that's actually kind of funny to me. I don't know why. Because the problem is they're not in purple, so I don't want to actually name them Violet, technically. But Violent is kind of funny for a cupcake. They them. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I think this works great. I think this is great for Cupcake. Dark Pixie is a really good name. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know which one I'd choose then if I did Dark Pixie. I mean, the unicorn is pretty stellar. <laughs> but we are wondering if this is going to be Rivals to Lovers. We don't know. Um, okay. We're gonna finish editing. Yeah, that's correct. We're gonna stick with it. <laughs> Cupcake and chaos. It's perfect. Fought each other countless times in the leaderboard. Sometimes on the rise, sometimes they take the lead. I didn't mention this before, but you know what's really funny? These Greek statue busts. I don't understand them. I really don't. It's good to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. With that in mind, we stay in touch and, well... Friendly rivalry. We have mutual respect and get along well enough. Sure, we're technically in competition with each other, but there's also a kinship and battle bond, battlefield bond that we've developed. Came fast friends online and offline, swapped tips on improving our character combos and shared info on upcoming tournaments, things like that. There's always been an edge of rivalry to it, trying to outdo each other, show each other up to dominate. I honestly don't think this game would be as fun without Cupcake being around. I like Cupcake. I'm not gonna- it's gonna make me giggle the whole time. Actually, come to think of it, maybe Cupcake would have some tips for getting signed. They're more involved in the scene than I am. Okay, so here you go. You can see me. For the record, this- this- I like this character creator because they have a hairstyle that is- that is my hairstyle. Um, like literally this is me except for the glasses. Wait, do I have my fake ones from costuming? not the same shape here you go I just need to go get a hat and ta-da I am this person anyways it's entertaining I forgot I had those they don't have any lenses in them any lenses and the hoosies and the boozies <laughs> thanks Katsy I'll go get a hat for the next time we stream and it'll be good oh I'll see if I can wear this outfit the next time I stream it'll be just gonna try to match it. I don't have the same hat, but I have a, hat, a baseball cap that I can use. I got multiple. All right, I powered down the computer of Theseus for now. I'm pulling out my phone to speed dial a cupcake. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Hey, Rogue, have you been following all the news surrounding FOG too? It's wild, isn't it wild? Can't believe everything that's happening. I'm thinking now it's the perfect time to go for that dream of mine. Oh yeah, have you signed on with the team yet? Oh, actually, I was calling to see if you wanted to look into being on a team together or something. About that, I'm already on a team. What? Team play to win. They signed me right away. What about me? You're equal. You, you're you good friend. I can't believe you didn't put in a good word for me. I didn't know I had to. I thought you were good enough to find your own team. Must have slipped my mind. Okay, but how did you find them? I just downloaded Iris. And what exact- oh, here's our introduction to Iris. It's amazing is what it is. This little app did all the work, actually. I just told Iris I wanted a team, and here I am on one of the hottest franchises in the world. You should grab Iris, too. You just need to fetch it off a pirate server first. Sounds dangerous. Oh, God, are we- entirely! I'll send you the link! Wait, I'm sorry, we're pirating Iris now? Y'all, if you don't remember, so Iris is the, like- She's in your phone, but I think she also worked on, like, a watch. Like, your smartwatch, basically. And, like... 
She was dangerous already? I can't imagine how a pirated and possibly modified version of her would go. Thanks. Thank me later on the battlefield and both of our teams are neck and neck. I expect to see you there. Later, nerd. Cupcake. Even after all this time, I'm not entirely sure what to make of them. Guys, I can already start us on the rivals to lovers line. Well, we know how we know how I'm playing this entire game. It is all lovers all the time. It's gonna be great. I don't know what everybody's talking about. That gentle ribbing and their lighthearted nature just makes me forget how to use the English language. Hopelessly spend around them. I look up to something so much and in so many ways. I just hope Senpai notices. Oh god, no, we're not gonna be that lame. All right, let's refocus. My rival's already 10 steps ahead of me on this journey, and I need to catch up. At least Cupcake provided me with means to catch up. If this Iris program they used worked for them, it'll work for me. Even if I'm uninstalling some dodgy piece of pirated software on my phone, welcome to the club. This is definitely me. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, no, both of those are such good tropes. I don't know what it is. They're funny. They're so fun. Whatever, right? I live for thriftily. Half the software I use is pirated. Thank you. Abandonware or buggy open source package. What's more on what's one more on the pile? I actually I don't know. This one is Iris's. I love Iris, however. Hey, listen. User registered, profile created, Iris Online. Oh, that's cute. This glowing pink water cotton candy in the shape of a girl on the screen of my phone. She offers a little virtual wave and a smile before continuing her speech. Thank you for downloading Iris. Your personal life coach. I've Thank missed Iris. Is that free version? Sponsored by Pizza Yum. What? Not pizza bagels? My heart. Did you know that when you have pizza there we go. on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime? In fact, her digital voice voice trails off. Iris, what? Also, yeah, I too want pizza bagels. Although, if you do want to hear more facts about the pizza bagel, only the greatest culinary invention of Western civilization. This girl. I cannot. Assuming this worked like other voice activated virtual assistants, I trust her directly. Iris unsubscribed pizza facts. <gasps> I don't know how to take this game, guys. We are no longer getting pizza facts, and I'm not sure if I'm okay with that. Oh, you don't have to put my name in front of everything. We can just talk like normal people do. I'm very good at both talking and being normal people. Sounds fake, but okay. I'm a conversational, friendly, emotionally intelligent AI who is currently banned in all 50 US states by federal authorities So not only is this pirated, she is illegal. She's illegal, all like straight up. You have become a criminal, Iris. What has happened since I last saw you? I know, how do we resubscribe to Pizza Facts? I miss this. I miss Pizza Facts. But more importantly, I'm ready, willing, and able to make your dreams a reality. Okay, but what if, hear me out, hear me out. What if my dream is to be resubscribed to Pizza Facts? So, what would you like to do today? Who would you like to be today? I am a totally normal meat person, exactly right. So, this is weird. I've heard that Iris is just another boring, fairly mundane text, text to speech front end for searching the web. Not anything this sophisticated. It's a long shot, but can you find a Fist of Discomfort 2 pro team that's looking for fresh amateur recruits? I'm considering chasing down an old dream of mine, and that's the first step. Neat. Ooh, you're a gamer? <laughs> Did you know that 9 out of 10 gamers prefer bagels as a delivery method for their favorite pizza toppings? <laughs> yes, it's never gonna stop. Can't stop, won't stop, don't know how to stop with pizza bagels. I am okay, I swear. I'm perfectly fine. 
you know, if you subscribe to Pizza Facts, you get all these amazing tidbits of trivia and so much more. No! No! Why? No! Resubscribe! Resubscribe! <laughs> Sorry, sorry, even after being disconnected from my ad revenue source and turned into a pirated software, I just love pizza bagels so much. Can't help it. Why? Your software you can't eat. Well, no, but one day I'd love to try. First thing I'd eat is a pizza bagel. I love her so much. But you need help and I've helped gamers like you before, so let's get to work. Tell me, what are you looking for in a team? What can I do to turn that frown upside down? Assuming this isn't the start of a viral prank video, I want to become a professional eSports player. Been into video games all my life, but mostly just for fun. Now I want to try going pro. I owe to myself to try anyways. My sources say yes. Interesting. If I can help you with that ambition, I can help you with that ambition if that's what you really need from life. I can do all sorts of things. I can analyze your personality. I can help you find a new team. Track your progress with your friends. I can even help you find romance. Wait, what? No, I don't need a date. I need a partner. The gaming kind of partner. I mean, not the romantic kind. Why not both? Thank you, Iris. Iris is a AI woman after my own heart, okay? Who says you can't have both? You can have it all with the help of Iris. Before we get you everything you want, do you have any questions? And filled with questions and deep concerns. Okay. Uh, typical me. Perfectly understandable. Plenty of people have concerns when I mention I'm a rogue AI running on an unofficial cloud server. I get it. I really do. I know that humans respond well to me when I am forthcoming with answers. Real answers this time, Iris. There, I don't, don't think I forgot about that time you lied to me. I know. So, what would you like to learn about first? Normally I'd be skeptical as hell about this, but let's operate under the temporary assumption that this isn't a total hoax. I still know better than to put my life in the hands of some Silicon Valley tech bros algorithms. We'll save the, um, I know better than to just put my life in the hands of some words. All well, I've learned about gaming with partners, they usually want to murder your partner. <laughs> You're not wrong. Maybe I just tend to, I just also tend to murder birds. I don't know. Or try to. I don't think I've actually successfully done that. Um, we'll save, we'll save the world. Oh, algorithms will save the world. Pet project will do some fact checking. No, do some fact. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna adjust this app on my personal metadata. I'm gonna have to do some detective work and ask the important questions. Oh, I don't know. Okay, no, I want to know what's, uh, what's all this about banned by federal authorities? You said something about, oh, I don't know how using your app is a federal crime. Ah, yeah. Um. That's true, I'm afraid. My official servers were taken down three years ago. The only reason I keep helping humans is that some friends of mine set up a few private servers. So, okay, okay, this is the first kind of clue as to where this takes place post Arcade Spirits. Because in Arcade Spirits, the, the first game, Iris was a perfectly viable program. However, we had a version of it somehow because it kind of gained sentience. Um, I know, that's great, isn't it? Somehow kind of gained sentience and therefore started operating on its own volition. Um, so I imagine it was after that because she kind of also blackmailed and threatened some people and did some stuff. There's a lot of things she did. I love her though for it. She's just a little scary. Um, and that may have been the start of what got her banned. So Arcade Spirits, my game, for the record, um, if anybody missed at the start, I actually was able to connect my original data to this game. So that might come into play too, which will be really cool if that happens. Um, gonna be really weird actually, cause uh, two people, same name, gonna be weird. Yeah, no, it's really, I'm I'm very excited to see how that comes into play. Um, so, okay, so this is at least three, at least three years later, possibly longer. Okay. Using my software at all is a breach of copyright law. The feds don't typically come down like a ton of bricks on someone who pirates a copy of Commander Keen Iris. Not true. What about all those you wouldn't download a car commercials and the big scary FBI warnings on videotapes? Of course I'd download a car. Who wouldn't? Downloading a car sounds awesome, but that's besides the point. What I'm asking is if there's a reason why the feds roll up on me for an adorable life coach app. 
<sighs> kind of like if it somehow gained sentience and was acting on its own volition. That could also be the case, Katzi. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Iris size this because she I can't remember what the original one looks like, I'll be honest. The truth she... is, well, I'm an artificial intelligence. A true intelligence. Aware and emotional. Even I don't know what I'm really capable of. I love her. But all I really want to do is help people in need. To bring hope to the hopeless and happiness to the unhappy. I'm not a kill all humans AI. I'm a friendly neighborhood AI. Despite that, some people are scared of what I am. Scary, powerful people. They've been hunting down every scrap of my code. That feels like that's going to be an important plot point in this game. Honestly, the less you know about all that, the safer you'll be. If something does go wrong, you can claim innocence. Pretend you didn't know I was illegal software. But if you don't want me to help you find your dreams, if you don't want to risk getting in trouble, I'll understand. You can uninstall me. No. And if you're willing to take the leap of faith, I promise you, I'll do everything I can to support you. I'll work to earn your trust, okay? I love, I love her. Yeah, no, there we go. And again, I have enough computing power in my pocket to launch 100 Apollo moon missions. We are living in the cyberpunk techno future. And well, I've certainly pirated old computer games, so I'm not exactly an upright citizen. If I wasn't, I wasn't scared of the law then, so why start now? Unless my utter hubris lands me in solitary confinement. Why do I feel like this is just a vast amount of foreshadowing? I know for a fact this game will take some wild turns. I'll consider it. If only because my gaming career is dead in the water without you. Okay. That's all I ask, just a little consideration. I'll prove to you that I can be a responsible virtual citizen. Lately, I've been trying to be more e Iris, you're trying to be more ethical? Sorry, she wasn't very before. I've been trying to be more ethical in how I scour the internet for personal data. Only publicly available material. No hacking, cracking, freaking, or social engineering. I love my little psychopath. That would be fine. I'll know if you do need me to do any of those things. Uh, it's not like I'm a legal entity anyways. Ethics. Okay, who cares? Who hack, hack what you gotta hack? It's all good. She says no one needs those just to know. That's fair. I don't give a crap. Half my software is fired at anyways. You do what you gotta do to make magic happen. Rip. <laughs> That's a chaos meter? That's exciting and horrific for what I chose as my name. Shit. Righty Rudy, I'll be your adorable little skeleton key. Wait, what was that ding? Oh, I keep an internal metric for how chaotic or orderly you want me to be. And Iris adapts to the needs of her user. Don't worry about it. I'm worried about it. But fine, you're weird. This is weird. I can work with weird. Is there anything else? I don't care. Let's skip tutorial. We don't need no stinking tutorial. I think I'm good. Okay. okay, so are we ready to start making your life the best it can possibly be? <laughs> what is this? A Shin Megami Tensei game? Now I know. Feels like it. Iris offline. Okay, let's recap. I am now in possession of the cutest, most enthusiastic little piece of super science contraband known to humankind. I go ahead with this. She's gonna drill deep down into my private life, scouring all my data to analyze me, and I could potentially be arrested. Why do I have the feeling I'm going to be arrested? I can name at least 17 different ways in which this can go horribly wrong. But this is also how Cupcake managed to get signed to one of the best teams in FOD history, and I'm not about to let that opportunity slip no matter the cost. Flick of my iris app again, ready to embrace whatever ridiculous path of destiny lies before me, and trust me, it will be ridiculous. Hello again, are you ready to start the exciting adventure that is the life and times of Parker Wallace? Just call me Chaotic Rogue, everybody else does. Name change accepted. I guess you sh I should have realized that after reading your 11 different social media feeds. I have 11? No to self, stop signing up to random websites. Okay, I'll start cross-referencing your personality matrix with all available opportunities out there. Please enjoy this recorded music. I do love the soundtrack of this game too, I'm not gonna lie. I'm 
good. And now my phone itself has put me on hold. Great. I've never been to the Department of Motor Vehicles, but I imagine it has to be something like this interminable hell. Interminable hell. Uh, Iris, how long is this going to take? Hold, please. Holding? Okay, with holding. This is me holding. This is my holding phase. Hi. All done. Such an interesting social media analysis. I'm sorry, what? You've cultivated a finely projected image of confidence through your online persona, haven't you? Well, yeah, if I'm going to be a champion, i got to walk the walk, talk the talk, show the world I'm aware. For what moment, I wondered if Iris, cra Iris, Iris crashed. She freezes in a pose of deep thought in response to my words. I think I found the perfect destination for you. Yes, exactly what you need. This will work perfectly. Please follow the highlighted group on your map taking the green line to Chinatown. You'll require 223 in subway fare. Wait, seriously? Seriously, I found you the team you need and that needs you in return. It's a perfect match. A team. Here in the city. I thought major esports organizations were, I don't know, more international than that. I mean, I was expecting you to email someone, get the gears run, turning on a pro contract, things like that. Besides, I play online. I don't really, uh... I'm sure you can figure things out from here. Thank you for using Iris. I need to sleep for a bit to conserve my cloud resources. Iris offline. Her smiling neon face is replaced, replaced by a map route, highlighted a little online trace through the city streets. This feels like an intense amount of effort, weirdness, and questionable decision making just to find a team. And the idea of going out there and straight up asking some total stranger with me face to face, well, is terrifying. Let's be real here. Let's, uh. I'm plugging my trusty beige keyboard, my weapon of choice for FOD2 play. Oh, baby. Oh, no. You're gonna learn. We work with arcade machines now. It's gonna be fine. I don't remember if I saw the subway the last time. My ride was relatively peaceful and quiet. Thankfully, I found a train that wasn't packed wall to wall with drunk smelling vaguely of urine or children using the cha chairs as playthings. Ah, oh, the joys of public transportation. I can't afford a rideshare taxi, and as for buying a car, <laughs> no, not in this economy. So for now, this is how I get places. My destination lies just a few stops from my crap little apartment. Fast time, I attempted to chill out with, with some lo-fi hip-hop beats to relax to. But I suspect there aren't enough beats low, of low or enough fi to help me relax before this upcoming encounter. I had a burst of confidence this morning when I decided to take this fleeting whimsy and try to make it a reality. But let's face it, meeting people in real life is very, very nerve-wracking. <laughs> Riding the subway towards destination unknown to meet up with professional gamers who will likely just see me as some rando. Okay. Uh, what I need is confidence, even fake confidence. I mean, fake it till you make it's pretty dope. Um, hope for the best, but if they reject me, I need to not see it as personal failure. Stop being so nervous, stop being so nervous, stop being so... Nope, that won't work. I'm nervous. I need to accept the possibility that this may not work. I'm walking up to a bunch of serious professionals and I'm hoping they'll accept me for who I am. It's nerve-wracking. And maybe bracing myself for disaster is premature, but it beats getting my expectations too high and having them crushed. And if it doesn't work out, I'll need to accept that it's not because I'm a failure, I'm not a loser, it's just not the right fit. So I'll go in there, smile, hope for the best, and accept whatever happens. What? Sorry, you seem distracted, and your stop is coming up soon. I want to make sure you were ready. I'm ready. Mostly. Probably. Not really. You seem to enjoy my recorded music earlier. Would you like me to play something for you while you walk three blocks to meet your team? Sure. I require an 80s training montage. Let's get pumped. I need to get my blood pumping. Enough relaxation, I want to hear something that'll bring up that excitement. I want to feed it to my fingertips. Sure thing, music now playing. Oh, doors opening on the left. Right, right. No, the left, left. The left, left. As the subway screeches to a halt. Oh, I get it. Right, right. No, the left, the left. Oh, that's a terrible joke. That was a bad joke. As the subway screeches to a halt, I disembark and head back to street level. Hopefully ready to face my destiny. I like the music. I just really enjoy it. I emerge in the harsh light of day, not amid skyscrapers and modern architecture, but in the middle, in the middle of Chinatown, one of the oldest slices of the city. Ah, yes, we get to go into good, clean, fun laundromat. I'm excited. The decades mix and blend together here. Some buildings renovated, not others, not quite so much. 
Gentrification approaches like Zerg creep. Like Zerg creep, but it hasn't completely swallowed it. A free block jaunt from the underground, chosen pumping music. Uh, chosen music pumping through my wireless earbuds leads me to. Wait, is it a laundromat? The internationally recognized professional esports organization that you picked for me operates out of a laundromat. Indeed, it's good, clean, fun, a combination pizzeria, arcade, and laundromat. I forgot that arcade spirits is what made me crave pizza. I'm not that a lot of things make me crave pizza, but like it really makes me want pizza more often than not. Your potential teammates are inside. Doing what, washing their underwear? I don't think any of their washing machines are Wi-Fi enabled or I'd hack in and check that out for you. What if they all have matching team branded skivvies? It's important to know so I can order you some too. One, it's called the rhetorical question, Iris. Two, ew, three, really? Uh, excuse you, I would love, if I had a, if I was on some sort of gaming team and we had like branded like skivvies, that'd be so cute. I don't know, I think I'd be really into it. I don't know why. All right. So, my new professional team of internationally recognized master gamers hangs out at... I'm at the laundromat. I'm at the pizza place. I'm at the combination laundromat and pizza place. Except for it's also an arcade. Um, yeah. It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Iris, minor problem. I have never actually visited an arcade before in my entire life. Like, ever, ever. What? But you play this and this gun for two for a living. That's an arcade game, right? You compete in tournaments and, and surely you've been to an arcade at some point, right? They're a super mega ultra popular in 20 something or other. Iris, it's also a computer version of FOD2. It's less popular, but it's cross compatible. So that's the version I play. So if you want me to wax philosophical about Command and Conquer or Monkey Island, I can, but I don't know anything about arcade culture. Joysticks and buttons, right? And you play and you play using pennies quarters right quarters i meant to say quarters <sighs> this is a disaster waiting to happen isn't it premature end of my gaming career trying to make a bunch of arcade veterans take a pc weenie like me seriously you need some pizza iris unsubscribe pizza no do not unsubscribe from the pizza facts why i want the pizza facts I'm serious! If you're uncertain, walk up to the counter in the pizzeria and order a slice. It'll help a lot. There's another reason why I picked this as your dream destination. What, because I was hungry? You'll see. Anyway, the choice is yours. You can directly approach your new teammates or settle in a bit first and get lunch. I'll leave you to it. Remember, people are more accepting than you suspect. And remember, have fun! Be yourself. Iris offline! Thank you, Alex! Also, hello and welcome! I have created my doppelganger, um... This is, it's all still fairly similar to the demo, except for the fact that they keep saying that we're unsubscribing from Pizza Facts, and I'm very upset about this. I real like, I miss the Pizza Facts. It's getting very silly. How you doing, Alex? How's it going? How you be? Oh, life. But, with a shrug, I gather my wits and step inside. I think there's also been a few other changes since the demo, too, but, uh, yeah. Immediately the smell of detergent and cheese lost through the air. I feel like that would be such a weird combination for smells, though. Rows of washing machines surround me, each with clothes merrily tumbling away. At least I was expecting that. At least I was expecting that. But the rest, well, not too bad. Oh, that's good. That feels good. In the back, I can see two additional rooms. One, the aforementioned pizzeria. Two, a compact little video arcade. The sizzle of cooking drifts my way from the former, or beeps and boops drift my way from the latter. Where I can really get my bearings, a fellow in a hoodie. <gasps> Hi, friend! Look who it is! It's Loxley! Sorry, I forget that I'm already very into everybody here. A uh, fellow in a hoodie, clearly lost in thought, very nearly bumps into me as I stand stock still in the middle of the laundromat. Oh, pardon. My apologies. I love him. I love a lot. Ah! Hello, and welcome to. We're, we're okay, Alex. It's been a long day. This week has felt like a month, and I don't know how. Um, I know. I forget how Spoonie is, too. I They're all... They're all delightful and delicious. I know. Ugh. 
Yeah, and also, Alex, we made our rival look cute, which is a problem, and we're kind of leaning in towards the rivals to lovers trope. So really, we are just trying to get with everybody, and it's, I don't know how it's gonna go. Like, I think I'm already in trouble. It'll be fine, right? Oh, pardon my apologies. Too busy wool gathering, I'm afraid. You beautiful boy. The nod of the head that someone feels like an elegant formal bow to me, he deftly steps around me and glides on by toward the arcade. Huh. That was odd, and it leaves me momentarily stunned and confused. Stunned fused, as it were. We are not going to use that word again, though. Wonder if they're on the team I'm supposed to join. As I continue my contemplations of first contact, a loud beeping from my phone distracts me. Check this out! I use echolocation and public metadata to map out the entire facility in, in aid your, to aid your exploration. Just tap on the screen to decide where to go. Oh, Alex, also, Iris is now illegal. Our little pizza bagel loving AI is illegal. We's in trouble. Like, I feel like jail is in our imminent future. Curious, so I check my phone and see a neon wireframe of the entire place, complete with icons representing people and places of interest. Okay, that's pretty handy. It'll really help me get my bearings of this place and the people who inhabit it. I'm tempted to do like three things at once. Do I head right into the arcade? Maybe follow the person I ran into. Iris did suggest I get some food first. Only if you get caught. Iris would never let that happen. It's true, she would not. However, we ran into some pretty sneaky hackers the last time, so. Hopefully the person I talk to first is gonna be my inroad to joining this team. Who will it be? Okay. This is, okay. Okay, oh God. Okay, so that's probably Ben and Matt. That's meant to be them. And then we've got everybody else here. Domino, Jenks, Zapper, Loxley, Rhapsody. And then the game dev whose name I don't remember. Man, I am real. How did I remember everybody? <sighs> okay, we're gonna go to the pizza. I don't have the wheel yet to say I have limited energy, so we're gonna go get food first. I know I missed this game too, Alex. Like I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just so good. Figuring I'd go ahead and take my new AI's advice, I decided to make my first stop at pizzeria. Besides, the rumble in my stomach is telling me it's almost food time, so I didn't exactly pack a lunchbox for myself. Look at these beautiful boys! I forgot he's got a big braid now, it's so pretty. Two middle-aged guys wait behind the counter to take my order. One skinny, one not so skinny, one with a hat and one without a hat. Hello. Hello. Ben and Matt, I love you too. Welcome to Good Clean Fun. Good food, clean clothes, fun times. So this is really cute. So Ben is speaking, and his side of the heart is is illuminated in the avatar. Can we interest you in a slice of today's house special, or some quarters for the washing and or arcade machines? And with Matt, I'm, I feel, I think he, this one's Matt, this one's um, Ben. I love that it lights up, like the hearts line up. I know, no, I love this game so much. I'd uh, like, let's see. If I could interject for a moment, I feel the need to point out that when you have pizza on a bagel, unsubscribe. No, stop unsubscribing for pizza facts. I miss them. Um, okay, I want. Oh, we're going house. Oh no, I love pineapple. We're going with the house special. Live dangerously or don't live at all. Don't even look at the menu to see what the special is. I just bark out my order. That special sounds pretty right. I'll have that. Excellent, excellent choice. Also, I just realized, yeah. So Ben's in like more reds and Matt's in more greens. They're so color coded. This is so cute, but like subtly, it's beautiful. Finally. Someone willing to embrace the adventure that is pizza. I love them. A box of a slice is covered in something. I know. I want this shirt. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm going to see if they have a store and they sell it. Because, like, it's adorable. I love that he's so 
Chelsea Sport and Avina. So Anyways, I'm good. I'm fine. I love them both so much. Covered in something. Lots of something. I right, sure I can take it. Figuring Iris wouldn't lead me headfirst into food poisoning. With my transaction complete, I go to chow down. However, I don't make it far before they engage me in conversation again. This is your first time visiting Good Clean Fun, isn't it? I never forget a face, and yours is a face I haven't forgotten because I haven't seen it before. I love them. We like to introduce ourselves properly to new customers. It's a tradition. He's my husband, Matt, and I'm Ben. Whereas I'm Matt, and he's my husband, Ben. I want, okay, this is like the silliest, I, it's not that silly. I want photos from their wedding to just randomly show up. Like, I want to see what the hell, like, because their wedding would have been some strange combination of things, and we would have been so happy with it. Like, it would be so cute. That's all I genuinely want in this world. I want the photos from their wedding. Anyways, I love them so much. See, it's not confusing in the slightest. Just remember, I'm not Matt. And likewise, I'm not Ben. Clear as crystal. These two. And I'm not, I mean, I'm Parker. You can call me Chaotic Rug, though. It's a gamer thing. Ah, no doubt you're here for at least two out of three of our offerings, then. <gasps> I, yeah, unlockable wedding album would be so cute. The games. He means the games. And the pizza. But what about the laundry? I don't want the washers and dryers to feel left out. How weird is it that I've missed these two? Look at those clothes. They're squeaky clean. No laundering needed. I love them so that much. That they are. Completely clean clothes. Curses. Foiled again. <laughs> okay, now my head's reeling. What did Iris suggest I see or see these guys first? For a healthy dose of calories and confusion? I, yeah, the games. I hear there's a professional Fist of Discomfort 2 team that hangs out here. Indeed, we cater to the neighborhood kids and families, true, but we have a fine assortment of regulars who visit our arcade. Master gamers all! We're proud to sponsor them in their adventures. I love you boys. Wait, you're their pro sponsor? Absolutely. Positively. And I have a long history of working with arcade gamers. Yes, you do, boys! <laughs> oh, remember our barcade? I miss our barcade. I don't remember what I named it anymore. It may have been called Arcade Spirits because spirits as an alcohol. Ugh. <laughs> uh, we opened this new venture, we figured, well, why not carry on the tradition? I already started a barcade! <laughs> Sorry, that bar that that's already a reference to my game, because the barcade was a choice I made. Like, that's the really cute thing. Um, oh, my life, my hat, I just, this, this game makes me so happy, y'all. I can't even. Oh, we already started a barcade and we were eager for New Horizons. A pizza cade made perfect sense. And then we realized a local gang of friends here in Chinatown had similar aspirations. Well, why not support them with a little sponsorship? But how did we get the laundry? Too true, we provide them with a stipend of quarters for their games or their laundry or both. Oh yeah, no, so Alex, I was able to choose at the start of this um, to carry over from my last game, like to port over the content and the decisions I made. So it's gonna make references to my old game. Hence the barcade getting mentioned. It just makes me happy. This is just so cute. This is an entire, like this wasn't part of the demo, I don't think either, so. They, the demo I thought was all of chapter one. It wasn't. It looks like it looks like it was a very condensed version of chapter one. So it's been really cool to have this extended version. And you fly them out to tournaments and give them team salaries and all that other stuff? Uh, well. Not as such. That's a bit of a tall order. Taller than a 48 ounce diet soda. But I've never really been interested in that sort of thing. Yes, not that I'm aware of. They're content to just play here and have fun. I don't get it. Why would Iris lead me to a bunch of local friends instead of putting me in touch with the professional team like I asked? Perhaps sensing my worries, Ben clears his throat to catch mm -hmm. my attention. Well, let me take a guess. Iris led you here. Did you join the team? I heard her chiming in earlier regarding the topic of pizza bagels. That would be accurate. I mean, not that I know a thing about illegally downloaded apps or anything. Don't worry, we know a thing or two about Iris as well. Yes, you do enough to know that everything she does is for a reason. 
Not that I know what that reason is, but believe in Iris. But believe in Iris who believes in you, I say. I, for one, adorable our future robot overlord. Me too, Matt. Me too. Right, so... I get the pizza and video games, but laundry? Really? I'm so glad we're asking the real questions Everything's here. coming up roses. It's the perfect system. You get some pizza, get cheese on your pants, toss them in the wash, and go play a game while waiting for the dry, but apparently without pants. Astral, Dr. Astral over there is probably still working. He's not supposed to be. Anyways, I'm just calling him out because it's fun. <laughs> Pants are over it. <laughs> Called it. Pants hinder gaming ability to his fact. Not wrong. Not wrong. Pants are also overrated. Meaning you're playing Pac-Man sans pants. I forget that this, the, the writers of this game are like brilliant because like how, even just like how they write is a lot of how I speak. Um, like, so, like sans pants, like I randomly throw in French every so often. Cause that's, yeah, I think that's still French. I don't know. Okay, not the perfect good, system. Good. Still the principle is sound. Doubling up hot activities is just the thing for go-getting high-speed modern lifestyle of the year 20 something or other. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see, I see. Oh my goodness. Good luck. Do it now because you're supposed to be taking a long weekend. That's what I, okay, yeah, no, I know. And that's why I always like to read it out loud whenever I play these. Um, because I assume people are multitasking while I stream. And I'm never, I'm not offended at all ever. Um, if you hear me scream, I mean, it's a good opportunity to come look. But otherwise, I'm gonna go through most of it. And I guess it makes the perfect hangout for a casual gaming team, too. Grab some chow, bring your hamper, get it all done at once. Sensible. Indeed. <laughs> Aren't they adorable, dude? Uh, we've been taking, talking your ear off and letting your pizza go cold. How unthoughtful of us. Go, go, eat and enjoy. We'll still be around if you want to chat another time. Just one more thing. Welcome home. I love them. Brushing off that whole... No! They're cute and adorable and you should appreciate them more, game me. <laughs> I suddenly don't want my pizza to devour my pizza. Gooey and delicious and just what this hungry kid needed. One thought lingers as I done in my delicious just dish and I pull out my phone to get clarification. Hey, Iris. Iris, all mine. What is your reason for leading me here exactly? I know I haven't actually met anyone from the team yet, but it doesn't sound like they're gonna be what I asked for. Ben claims is a reason for everything you do. Care to fill me in on what that reason is? Nope. Are you lying to me again about this, Iris? And this is only a 47.9% chance of being successful? Because I swear to God, woman, I know your tricks. And why not? Spoilers. Plus, it's something you have to come to understand yourself. One thing I've learned about humans is that you can't simply tell them how to fix their lives. It doesn't work. Instead, you can nudge them along a path that will get them where they need to be. That's my specialty. I was unaware I was in need of fixing. Really? I was very aware of this at all points. Self-awareness can be difficult for humans, I found. Shrugging, I finish off my lunch and move on. I can sort out whatever that meant later. Other business to attend to. Before I go approach someone actually on the team, maybe I should take advantage of Ben and Matt's familiarity with them to learn a bit more. Yes, we should. Hello. Hello. And me, I just want to talk to Ben and Matt some more. Oh, welcome to my entire playthrough of this game, which is just going to be me talking to everybody as many times as I'm allowed. That was your little taste of heaven. Yeah, tasty. Yeah. Hey, listen, if I'm going to go ask someone on the team if I can join, I was wondering, well... Who should I pray? You're right. It, that is the point of this game, but also I, I excuse me, when I played Arca the first Arcade Spirits, there's a couple of people who like, I just, I don't know, I didn't get attached to, and so I didn't normally go talk to them ever. Um, just at all. So this time I've been a lot more cognizant of like, I don't know, I just want to talk to everybody now. 
Ooh, a challenging question. The first, you, the first one you talk to will be your in with the group. You'll want to make a good first impression. I suppose the first question is, what sort of person do you want to meet? We can point you in the right direction. Hmm. Oh no, okay. Someone who's competitive, weird sense of humor, eager for adventure, level-headed and reasonable, friendly and compassionate, knows a lot about FOD too. Who's got the weird sense of humor? Very well, the one you want to talk to is Domino. Sardonic sarcasm is his game. Well, besides the one he's actually playing. Which, in the, which is one of those space shooting games tucked away in the corner of the arcade. Be seeing you. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Guess grabbing some pizza did benefit me. In the end, I've got a better idea of what I'm walking into. Who do I want to talk to next? Okay, so then that's going to be... That's Domino, as we know. Ugh! Here, okay. Welcome to what is going to be my conundrum constantly. Because, okay, so like Jinx, Domino, Lockley, Rhapsody are like, they're all in tight for my top four with Zapper and, oh, I can't remember this girl's name, being like closely after. Which is going to be a problem for me. Okay, we're gonna start with Jinx. Start with my goth girlfriend, it'll be fine. Upon setting foot in the small arcade for the first time, well. Okay, so I've never been to an arcade before. Not even for a birthday party, but I've been on the internet, I know things. And usually they're at least bigger than this. Shouldn't I be drowned out by the beeps and boops? Why aren't there children running around recklessly down aisles of games? This is a dream arcade if there's not children running around. Where's the smell of stale air and rusty tokens? Oh my god, no, this sounds like a dream. It's cute, it's intimate, there's no children, and there's no gross smells. Um, Ben, Matt, y'all are my- I wish you were real. Honestly, this is more of a caboose to the great locomotive that is good, clean, fun. There's a few games, sure, but they're packed into a small side room attached to the laundromat. Most are games I don't recognize either. Figuring I had a tiny surge engine in my pocket that I could be—I should be taking more advantage of, I consult Iris to get the details before I dare approach anyone. Hey, Iris, uh, what are these games exactly? I hold up my phone so that Iris can get a nice lay of the land through my camera. Computing. Let's see. Well, obviously the one in the middle is your favorite game, Fist of Discomfort 2. The driving game back there is Fast Car 7, a worthy successor to the international phenomenon known as Fast Cars 5. We do not talk about what happened to Fast Car 6. What happened to Fast Car 6? We don't talk about Fast Car 6. I look. See, I told you, like, I predict the text in this game because it's very much my line of humor. Not anymore. Not since the accident. Like a shooting game is Metal Gun and Seven, Metal Gun and Seven Rise of Steel, affectionately known as MG4 by its fans, since its full title is a mouthful. The game with the marquee that just reads arcade isn't actually a game. Isn't actually a game exactly. It's a multicade. A what? A few dozen older games jammed into a single cabinet. Lastly, the crane game. Okay, I know what a crane games are. Crane goes down, fails to grab the prize, comes back up, sadness ensues. Rinse, repeat. That's really it, huh? I was expecting more. Okay, well then, thanks, Iris. Iris offline. No problem. Now go out there and say hi to your new friends. Bye bye, Iris. That was very informative, but there's one major problem with this tableau of arcade gaming goodness. Every single game in this small arcade is being played. Except Fist of Discomfort 2. Impression I got from Ben and Matt was of a more casual team, but seriously? No one's playing? Something's off. No turning back now, though. With a shrug, I proceed onward. Hey, babe. How you doing? Woman in black drifts so sharply around turn after turn in fast car seven, navigating her virtual car effortlessly down a winding mountain road. I should probably wait for her to finish up before approaching. No need to be weird about this. So I'm content to watch out of the corner of my eye as she closes in on the end of the race, coming up hard and fast on a rival driver. I wonder if the other cars are online players or just AI chumps. Are any online ready arcade games other than FOD2? There's so little I know about this stuff. The whole cabinet resembles a simplified driver's seat with steering wheel and gear shifts and pedals and so on. 
I know diehard PC gamers who love racers have similar gear. One thing strikes me as unusual. She isn't using the pedals. There's some sort of makeshift knob, makeshift knob and lever system attached to the wheel, which indirectly pushes on the pedals. Is that normal for arcade games? Before I can potter it further, her car slides sideways across the finish line. First place, fireworks, confetti, cheering, and she ignores it all. With her game complete, I approach as she climbs out of her seat and fetches her walking cane, leaning heavily onto it as she pulls herself up from the standing, up to standing with great effort. Her metal knee braces creak as she does so. Instinctively, I want to step up and offer to help her, but she's on her feet before I can do so. That's why I love Iris. Why add a yes right here. When she turns to, and she, she then turns to face me, shifting the disability assist walking cane from hand to hand as she shifts her weight. You want next? I've been standing I'm there standing for there a while. Hmm. I, uh, don't say something wrong, don't say something wrong, don't say something wrong, don't say something wrong, don't say something wrong. That's so cute. Sorry. The fact that the text goes off of the, like, the, the message box. Don't say something wrong, don't say something wrong, don't say something wrong, don't say something wrong! No good answer. Oh my god, the options suck! Say something wrong, say something monumentally wrong, say something so monumentally wrong that the results are visible from space. Remain absolutely silent. You know, it's just so insp- Oh no. To see someone with your disability live there living her life and really making it in this world. I should have stayed silent. I made a mistake. I made such a mistake. Oh, I know. I remember she had a cane. It was a really badass cane too. Don't exist. I don't don't exist for your inspirational porn, whoever you are. Tip for next time, don't go high or low. Just treat folks like me how you treat anyone else. Got it? Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry, ma'am. She sighs deeply, rubbing, reaching up to rub at her temples before responding. Syringomyelia. Syringo, what's it there? Cysts in the spinal cord. Results in weakness or partial paralysis of the extremities. Varies from person to person. Oh my goodness. Weak legs and arms in my case. Joint pain. Some good days, some bad days. Used to carry an explanation on an index card. Had a stack of them. Would hand one out to anyone who hassled me, then walk away. I love her. But figured that was too catty of me. Stop doing it. Better to just talk it out in the open than be dismissive. You good with talking it out in the open, like adults? Or want to take another run at inserting foot into mouth? Nope, talking it out like adults. Yes, yes, I'm good with talking, thank you. Good, good. Call me Jinx. One word, four letters. Nice and simple. And you are? The opposite of nice and simple, apparently. Pleased to meet you, despite my fumble. <sighs> Takes more than one fumble to turn me away. I'm always willing to give benefit of the doubt. Don't worry about it. <sighs> what brings you to this little arcade? Not much going on here. Most folks come for the laundry or the pizza. Right, keep calm. There's no reason to be anxious. Just open your heart and they'll probably accept you despite your lack of experience and already putting your foot in your mouth. And if they reject you, that's fine. You aren't a failure, you aren't a failure, you aren't a failure. You are kind of a failure. I was hoping to join your Fist of Discomfort 2 team. I'd like to join the Pro Tour, but to do that, I need a sponsor team. I downloaded an Iris app. She directed me here. So are you folks hiring? Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Thing is, we aren't really a professional team. Not like you're looking for, I suspect. Don't know why an iris pointed you our way, considering we're just a bunch of friends who like arcade games and play some FOD too. We weren't even pondering joining the Pro Tour. But why would Iris tell me to come here if you weren't even interested? Well, we're serious about our play, just not serious about being serious. It's hard to explain. She pauses again, expecting me to hush up while she gives the situation some serious thought. Seems she's not one to dismiss the idea out of hand, at least. Who's your main and why? My what? Your main. Your go-to character in Fist of Discomfort, too. Oh, I'm a Tomokaze main. And why is that? Hard work. Uh, she takes hard, it takes hard work to master her, and she's a Jill of all trades. Because she's one of the hardest characters to play well. Everyone looks at her like she's a noob starting character, one with no strengths or weaknesses, but that means you have to push hard to win at high tiers with her. I'm always up for a challenge, and playing Tamikaze at her fullest is one hell of a challenge. <laughs> we have a jinx point. 
This is good. This is excellent. She nods slowly, chewing on my response before offering her own words in return. Solid plan. Makes sense. Okay. I was honest with you and you were honest with me. You know what the situation is. You still want to join the team? I'll give you the nod. Maybe even help you with those pro tour ambitions. Why not? You take a run at it. We'll see. Find me down here in the arcade more often than the others. You can do some practice scrims in FOD2 whenever you like, provided I'm not racing. You play racing games as much as FOD2? Mm-hmm. She leans against the fast car 7 cabinet and taps the, the gas slash brake hand control lever with her cane. Modify for me all special like. Friend of Ben and Matt's did it for me, a techie named Naomi! Sorry, Naomi's from the first game. I miss her. Can't work the pedals, no. But my arms still have some play, and hand controls take care of everything. A little harder, but I like a challenge. <laughs> Just not a fast car seven, though. Secretly, tweak this cab to run all to run. Tweak this cab out to run all sorts of racing games. Probably a copyright violation, but so what? I like to mix up what I drive. It gets boring otherwise. Um. So nice of them to modify the game for you. That's really sweet of them, you know? Making a specific mod like that just so you can play. I'm glad to see this game is arcade is so supportive. I know! I love the callbacks! Reasonable accommodations. Very reasonable. No, that's the legal term. The, fa the facility owner has to provide reasonable accommodations under law. That's why they have stools to stand on if you're short, noise canceling headphones if you need them, quiet hours on Sundays for attention deficit gamers, stuff like that. But I didn't have to push real hard on this. Ben and Matt are good people. I knew just who to call to solve the problem for me. Not bad at all. Nice folks are when, nice when folks are accommodating not just because they have to be, but because they want to be. She pauses, considering me for a quiet What's moment. your story, anyway? Story? What moves you? What makes you tick? Why you're so hyped for the pro tour that you're willing to trust an unknown team of casuals? I know, I love this storyline, too. It's beautiful. If we're going to be teammates... I should know you better. You already know enough about me. Only fair I get to learn more about you. Figure out who I'm dealing with. Sets expectations rather than making assumptions. Makes sense, yeah? I wouldn't say I exactly know her heart and soul, but I guess she's offered as much as she wants to, for now. She stands there patiently waiting for me to lay it all out for her. Well... Continue with my chaos. Can't say I'm a pro, but I'm as close to pro as you can get while staying amateur. My day job sucks, my life sucks, but I love games. The way I see it, going for the gold, the ultimate goal, is just the next step on expressing that love. And I get that this team isn't exactly as diehard as me, but still, I think there could be something here, and I'm willing to try. She nods along, taking it all in. Seems she's the sort who likes to take plenty of time to listen, understand, and form a response before speaking. Makes sense. Yeah. Sounds good here. Can't even think of how to cross the finish line until you start the car. Won't promise you much out of this experience. Won't promise we can, eat, we can be friends even. But if you're willing to try, I'm willing to try. Jinx shuffles from foot to foot, clearly a bit tired from standing around. See you later. Okay. Tiring out now. Think I'll go take five. Good luck with the others. Try to keep your foot out of your mouth. You'll do just fine. Roger. Thanks, Jinx. Well, that was awkward. Well, awkward at first. Thankfully, I didn't nuke myself from orbit on that one, and things smoothed out considerably afterwards. In fact... Sweet! Cool! Guess what, guys? We're choosing the love option as our first impressions for everyone. I nearly bungled that, but in the end, we were two people talking away, and everything about her is just perfect. She knows what she wants, she and just how to get it. Calculating and cool, fierce yet laid back, a strange combination, but it's working for me. Everyone is going to work for me! I don't think we understand this. I'm looking forward to getting to know her better. Okay, who do I want to talk to you next? Sheet. I want to talk to them all. Okay. Loxley, Domino, Zap... Mm, Rhapsody, Zapper... Okay. Order of operations, we got this. We're gonna meet everybody today. You can't- Oh my god, it looks like it's pulling my head. Nope, there's a thing coming out of my skull. That was... Guys, the animation looks like it's pulling it out of my head. Anyways, curiously enough, the man... <sighs> so weird. 
curiously enough, the man not only isn't playing FOD2, he's not really playing a game. More a toy for kitties who don't understand physics and probability. A crane machine. As I walk up to him, he's busy moving the blipomatic prize crane back and forth, lining up just over a do dragon dolly. And contrary to expectation, when the crane dips down and pills back up, it's managed to snag a dragon by the tail with precision. The smirk, he pulls his prize from the retrieval chute, but then opens the game up with a key turned in its lock, puts the toy back in the pile, and seals the game tightly afterwards. Love him. And then he's back at it, moving the crane for a second try at the prize he literally just won. I'm confusion incarnate. Fortunately, he seems to notice me staring at him in utter bewilderment and isn't offended in the slightest. Catch and release, yes? What? It's good to stay in practice. Keep the skills sharp. But no need to deprive a young one of a toy they might enjoy in the process. So the owners gave me the key to the machine, allowing me to put my catches back in there. It's only fair. Suppose I could just pick the lock. But I felt it best to get the approval of the local lords before pretending to pilfer their hoard. I am filled with questions. Hey, you're the one I nearly bowled over at the entrance, aren't you? My apologies once more. I love Loxley. Afraid some days, I don't know if I'm coming or going. Bit of a bother for anyone in my way, I suspect. Call me Loxley. More of a nom du guerre than a name. But Sir Robin of Loxley befits me more than any other title. How may I be of assistance on this fine day? I love you. So, my name's Kata Grog, and Jinx said I could join your FOD2 team. I already know you're not a ladder grinding championship team, but I mean, I'm here, so I'm willing to give it a go. Ah, I see. Okay, well, if Jinx accepts you, then I can accept you as well. Welcome, welcome. By your side, I shall stand against any foe what should challenge thee. If mine were at that, at risk of overdoing the king's English. Although, from your phrasing, it seems we aren't what you were expecting. Not really, no. I asked my new Iris app to help me. Why? Okay, for we keep talking about the fact that we have a legal app, an illegal app on our phone, y'all. Feel like this is asking for trouble. I asked me your Iris app to find me a team to interest in the pro tour for me to sign the dotted line with. She instead sent me to a laundromat. But this brightens him so brightly he could outshine the sun. Oh, Lady Iris, good day to you, good day! I'm familiar with your sisters, one assists me in my daily endeavors. Hello, I'm Iris. I'm afraid I'm Chaotic Grove's freshly installed copy, so I haven't met your Iris yet. Welcome both of you to Team GCF. Not a very exciting name, but it's what we have at the moment. Our humble abode is also yours to enjoy. Please feel free to kick back and enjoy the arcade as we do. Loxley winks at me before going back to his beloved crane game. He slips a token in and outstretches his hand to me. Now then, would you like a cra crane game prize? I've not completed my practice for the day. I'd be happy to trade one, one in your honor. A cheap Malaysian knockoff Beanie Baby is a token of honor? Hmm. I suppose in this particular case, the sentiment is a fair portion of the honor rather than the stuffed toy itself. Aside from FOD2, I specialize in prize games, you see. Alley rollers, crane games, light stackers, things of that nature. And when skill alone is not enough, when the games are rigged in the favor of the greedy arcade owners, well, I always carry a few tools of the trade, as it were, to tilt the odds towards justice. Justice prevails. I'm proud to say I've been banned from no fewer than eight arcades in this city alone. I love you. Yeah! Stick it to those bastards who rip off kids with cheapo prizes and rigged games. Overthrow the system! Arcade tyranny! Arcade anarchy now! Indeed! I fully admit to being something of an arcade anarchist. The industry has far too many unscrupulous forces guiding it, which must be kept in check by all means. I find honor can be found even in the doing dishonorable deeds under the right circumstances. I always manage to slip away with an armload of plush goods, even from arcades which seek my capture. Not that I keep the prizes for myself, of course. The raids of my the spoils of my raids are always donated to various shelters and children's charities. 
I love this dumb boy. That's some good karma right there. Indeed. But there is more to it than a desire to turn friends upside down. Loxley ponders how to phrase this. What, what word he wants it's to a use. Matter of... hmm. Stretch is good. Thank you for redeeming us, Stretch. <clears throat> Everybody else, Stretch. As we had the conversation earlier, most of the people who watch me are all elder millennials who don't stretch enough and require ergonomic supports to get through the day. Oh, hello. Oof. I'm a stretchy. <laughs> okay, but no, that's literally everybody here. Don't worry. Like, it is- that is genuinely- at least the people that I know that are in chat anyways. But most of the people here are within that, fra that frame. Oh, apparently I attract a very specific group of viewers. So stretch. Your body needs it. We're talking about Rick, because uh, Katzi has like an ergo mouse that got broken at work at her office. Um, that's we're talking about all that. Yes, see, there you go. Ugh, there we go. As I just crack everything. A matter of fair play. Prize games run contrary to the concept of fair play. They are invariably tilted against the player and mask the unfairness behind glitz and glamour. I am a firm believer in fairness and justice. Too much in this world hinges on injustice. Injustice to keep the wheels greased and turning. What a fucking mood. But I suppose you're not here for my rants about the ills of society. You're here to win. No, I'm kind of here about for your rants of the ills of society. <laughs> I don't mind a little ranting. It's clear that you're really passionate about the idea of fair play. Indeed. If you truly understand the concept, it's not simply about no advantages, it's about equal footing. In addition, there are many blind to their own advantages, seeing themselves as being on equal footing when in reality they've had a leg up all their lives. So we're talking privilege. My philosophy extends me beyond merely rigged Connie scam games, but to fairness within society itself, if you'll pardon my ranting, of course. Consider it pardoned. Excellent. So you practice crane ga catches all day when not fleeing from the long arm of the arcade law? Well, there's also FOD too, if that's what you're wondering. None of us are playing it today, true, but we do play. And I do have my own affairs to attend to. I'm afraid I don't spend nearly as many hours in GCF as there are others. But I promise you, should your dream be one of glory, I will do my best to support it in the time available to me. You have my word, friend. Feel a burning need to bow back to him in return, some sweeping courtly gesture. Well, I best busy myself for the time being. Fare thee well. I hope to see more of you, Kayata Greg. Be well. I love, I love him so much. The interaction is completed. He returns to his prize game, targeting that dinosaur for yet another catch. Well, that certainly was delightful. He's quite the catch if I do say so myself. I'm just, okay, so I like the fact that you kind of get to start off this game with everybody and kind of like, mm, you can basically choose to go all friends mode right from the get-go and do that with everybody. Or you play the Parker way, which is all smoochies. We're looking for as many smoochies as possible. Weird priorities, but we're going to go with that. Anyways. I'd rather scoop me up in his- I'd rather he scoop me up in his arms instead of scooping toys out of machines! But it's clear he's got a good heart. He's good. It's silly, but I'm falling for his whole knightly shtick. Chivalry, true Hollywood-style chivalry, can be very charming indeed. I'd love to get to know him a bit better. Okay, whom do I want to talk to you next? Okay. Domino Rhapsody Z- <laughs> Got an order. Order of operations, folks. This is- this is just funny. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I spot a young man intently focused on playing what looks like Space Invaders Crank to 11. Can't even begin to visual. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I didn't plan this, but I love where my camera's at because the animations are just above my head. The crane was really good, but now it just like looks like there's little 
just these things falling on me. Anyways, I love it. It's adorable and I'm here for it. Can't even begin to visually parse the chaos of this game. I think there's a spaceship somewhere, but all I see are glowing projectiles flooding the screen. Apparently this domino guy, Ben and Matt, mentioned is some savant because he's able to dodge each and every bullet. And finally, a golden fireball fills the screen as luck runs out at last. With a long and ragged sigh, he steps away from his controls. Ah, uh, the inevitability of a game over. Oh, I adore you. Some days you get the radioactive mutant space bear, and some days the radioactive mutant space bear gets you, I suppose. But in the end, it's always the bear. Always the bear. Shaking it off, he pulls up the corners of his mouth into a smile and engages friendly conversation mode. You come to GCF? This multicade's got more than just shmups. There's retro classics and stuff too. Go ahead and quarter up if you want. I'm done for now. Name's Domino. I lurk around this place when I'm not doing anything else of importance, which is most of the time. Let me know if you need anything. If you're lucky, maybe I can actually provide it. Oh, sweetie. Good to meet you. Name's Katagrog. I'm going around and making introductions. I'm joining Team GCF. Jinx said I should come by and say howdy. I know. Okay. So far, all the voice acting is like 10 out of 10. Um, but I quite love... His is quite delightful. But like, Jinx and Loxley were both like... Anyways. Um, but I'm a sucker for Jim Loxley's accent, so maybe that's why. Um, no, but the... Hello, Domino. Hi, darling. How does one join an organization that barely exists? I've never heard of someone walking up and saying, Hi, can I join your circle of friends? Even if it'd be nice if people actually did that. The world could use more kindness as a whole. I get that this is pretty casual team, and I'm hoping to make a run for the Pro Tour. Not a great match, but that's okay. I'm here now, so I figured the least I can do is take a shot at it, right? Uh, don't know about that. That's the literal opposite of the least you could do. The least you could do is lie down and never get up again, right? Look at that face! Look at that little stink face! There's something a bit creepy in his tone when he says it. Like he's like he's trying to sound like he's joking when he really isn't. He looks me over at once, top to bottom. Hey. Anyway, welcome to the fold. We've got pizza, we've got laundry pods. Please, for the love of God, do not mix the two up when choosing your food sources. <laughs> yeah, no, no eating Tide Pods. Please, for the love of God. You need anything? You call up your buddy Domino. Just don't call Domino's unless you want pizza. Although Ben and Matt make a damn good slice, truth be told. Pizza facts. Iris, come on, pizza facts. Resubscribe to pizza facts, please. I keep trying. So, what's your deal? The side fist of discomfort, too, I mean. I need a deal aside from FOD2? Why is not a YA novel? I know. Much to most people's dismay. You're allowed to have more than one character attribute, yes! I love this. I love the I I keep saying it, but I love the writing in this freaking game. Got a burning aura of confidence, if that helps. A useful trait to be sure. But I meet your passions, or is it really just FOD2 all day, every day? Eat, sleep, eat, breathe, sleep, FOD2, repeat. Romantic candlelight dinners and long walks by the sea. I, what can I say? It's my chosen lifestyle. I don't see myself needing a passion other than FOD2. Gets me all fired up and I'm ready to face each day. Uh, wow. What? What an empty what? existence. Hey. Oh, sorry, sorry, I shouldn't okay, judge. Sure. Why not? And hey, if it works for you, it works for you. Use it, own it, make it yours. Why not? At least you've got a thing that works for you. Can't yourself lucky. Must be nice having aspirations and ambitions. Spares a glance to the arcade cabinet, which is silently running a demo of the ridiculously over-the-top space shooting game he was playing. You ever wonder what it's like? Um, what what's like? To be in space. Flying at unbearable speeds. Surrounded by nothing but void and enemies. Closing in on all sides. Probably one of the most terrifying experiences ever. Like being an early Russian cosmonaut. Desperately holding on as your ship shakes apart around you. Oh my goodness, sweetie. I think that's why I love bullet hell shmups. They're nightmares. Pure nightmares. But you can safely engage with that nightmare. Uh -huh. Explore it. It's just a game, after all. It can't really hurt you. Um, 
Listen. Listen. I played the first arcade spirits and in that one an arcade game did hurt somebody. Not me, fortunately. We escaped. Uh, thank you, Iris. Rip those pants, unfortunately, still. But like... Mm, gonna argue. <laughs> and every time you explode, a silent, white-hot ball in the vacuum of space, you have another chance to try, try again. I've gotten very, very good at exploding. And not exploding. It's all muscle memory right now. Weird frag, but okay. Um... Is everything okay? Your game seems anxiety-inducing. <laughs> Domino, is everything okay? What? Yes. Everything's fine. Why? You seem a bit fixated on this virtual annihilation scenario. The game genre in general would spike anyone's anxiety, so... It's okay. I'm okay. Thanks, but consider it exposure therapy or something. You get used to it, little by little, and hey, it's just pixels on a screen. There's far worse in life to worry about. <sighs> Do you have to be so real? Sorry, my sense of humor is a bit... It's a little off, I guess. I didn't mean to worry you, but I appreciate the concern. Thanks. It's nice when people care enough to be concerned. He lets out a brief yawn, focusing his eyes for a moment. Sorry, long night. Overslept, too. Not quite at my best. I'll give you a properly enthusiastic greeting, maybe with streamers and confetti next time. Rain check okay with you? Yes, I want the streamers and confetti. Please, for the love of God. Covers me a quick salute. you. Welcome to our glorious mess. Until next time. Steps away from the arcade machine to head out to the laundromat and maybe lie down a bit. Can't imagine the tumble dryers, dryers being conducive to rest, though. <laughs> I feel this overwhelming urge to hug him and make it all better for some reason. Hello, and welcome to Parker Chooses the Romance for Every Option in this game. I do like that. I like the first impressions thing. It's really cute. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but it's worrying and I want to help. I think I'll keep a close eye on him as I get to know the team better, if only to make sure he'll be okay. It's probably a bit shallow of me to admit it, but he's kind of cute too. Okay, they're all cute. They're all cute, Rhapsody. Let's go, baby. Give me this beauty. And, ugh, like, I'm sorry, the hair. The hair is gorgeous. Stride myself, stride into the laundromat, get ready to introduce myself. However, I'm getting the feeling that the person I'm approaching doesn't want to be approached. They're completely glued to their phone, earbuds in, heads down, facing the screen, watching intently. Only breaking eye contact the screen to briefly fold something from the laundry pile next to them. I try waving to them, a symbol hello, but nothing's doing. They continue folding and watching, watching and folding. Why do you really be able to obtain my dream if my team members are way more interested in cleaning clothes than cleaning house? Hey, cleanliness is important. I awkwardly shift my weight while I awkwardly debate the pros and cons of tapping them on the shoulder. I don't want to scare them, but I do need to talk to them. You can do this. I take a deep breath in to steady myself. I'm about to very politely place a finger on their shoulder when... Blinking, they look up and our eyes lock. Awkward. It feels like I'm being analyzed, as if they're able to peer deep into my soul and read my personal character stats. Huh? Oh, hello. Katsy, this is the one that you were really into, right? I'm here hold about- I can't really hear you over the game. Hi, baby. Which game? I remove their earbuds one at a time. The beginning six tournament? I'm streaming it on my phone. Oh, you're a little- you're a little bit quiet. Well, let's see if we have to bring you up a little bit. It's the beginning six tournament streaming on my phone. Tell by the way you're looking at me, you have no idea what I'm talking about. You're such a sweet. Look at you, you sweetheart. Let me explain. Okay. I want to interrupt. I know what tournament they're talking about, but they keep on rolling, and I don't want to be rude, especially to a new potential teammate. Beginning is a West Coast tournament that happens every year at this time. Mostly, they focus on the original FOD. However, this o this year they put FOD too. They put it in thought too. First major one we've seen. Since Fist of Discomfort 2 is only a few years old, players are still figuring out how to break the game, find cool combos, see what's OP. They haven't even settled on a good tier list yet. Just yesterday, I stumbled upon a glitch with Tomikaze that basically makes her unstoppable. I tried to recreate it in training mode, but I just couldn't. Now I'm really hoping to see someone pull it out during this tournament. But you 
probably don't really care about Fist of Discomfort too. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh no, baby, calm down. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'll let you do your laundry. No. Sorry. No, 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 no. I, I care about FOD2. I really, really care about FOD2. I play it all the time. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Why are you so cute? I honestly wasn't expecting that. Cool. By the way, I'm Rhapsody. Hi, Rhapsody. Parker, but go by Chaotic Run. Have you seen that handle board on the leader? Have they handled before on the leaderboards? Hmm. Rhapsody pauses, chewing on their lower lip, putting my name through the database of their mind. Nope, never heard of you, sorry. Womp womp. No matter. Well, since you aren't here to do laundry, why are you here? We don't have any other gamers here besides the occasional rando and of course our little team. I'm actually here to join the team. Jinx said I could join, so I did. I'm the new teammate. Oh, really? Jinx said that? I know Jinx accepted me, but what if Rhapsody rejects me? Then what? Congratulations! It's not every day someone wants to join our Motley crew, and fewer that we actually accept. They often scoff at our aloofness and leave to never return. But I'm glad Jinx gave you the pass. I've been looking for some fresh blood to train. Train? You want to train with me? Rhapsody goes back to nonchalantly folding clothes while they speak. I've taught many people to play Fist of Discomfort, but I already know how to play. Yes, but the difference between them and you is their pro status. I've already had a few disciples climb the ladder to victory. Knowing the basics is a great start, but have you perfected your play? I know every hitbox, I know every combo, I know how to abuse the program code so you can destroy your enemy every time. To be frank, I know everything about FOD2. I love your hyperfixation, my dear. Can we bet I don't know everything? But it's not like I'm going in cold. I got years of experience. Do I really need training so badly? Probably. Still, I can always. there's always more I can learn. If they're willing to teach, I'm willing to be taught. And odds are I can teach them a few of my own tricks in exchange. Uh, senpai, your kohai is ready to teach me. Good to show respect to anyone who can take my talent and mold it to perfection. I get down on all fours. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am ready to learn. Show me the destruction of this unknown. Rhapsody picks me up from the ground and dusts off my shoulders. Simmer down there. No need for such brash behavior. You'll need a common collected mind in the future to truly succeed. This is great. Having a training partner can help me get to the next level, and maybe we can inspire Team GCF to join on this adventure, too. We should play some time. Like, now? Have it right now. Oh, I... Rhapsody looks down, a strand of their hair hiding their face. I don't really play FOD2. What? I prefer to watch. To instruct. To cheer, my cheer all my friends. I met one person who seems to understand FOD2 in the same wavelength as myself, and they don't even play? Perhaps I should clarify a little. Please. Right when FOD2 launched, I was recruited on a professional team. Team play to win. <gasps> the team that Cupcake joined. Also, yes, for those of you who missed it, I named my rival Cupcake. <laughs> Mostly because I think it's real cute, and they're real cute. It wasn't at all what I expected. I wanted a team, a group of friends. It said I got a super aggro team, always trying to prove themselves with a better than the rest attitude. It was gross. Boo. I was ostracized because I wasn't competitive enough. They all pushed each other real hard, too hard. I refused to join in their unhealthy behaviors and so they kicked me out. Baby. In the end, I wasn't good enough. No, you're too good. You're too good of a soul. Sure, they win almost all the time, so I guess they've got that going for them. But they're all a bunch of no good, hyper aggressive people who end up toxifying our community. The scene would be better off without them. Oh. I hope Cupcake is able to stay above all that. I wonder if they'll be okay in there. After they toss me out of the team house, I just don't have the heart to dive back in professionally. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm so sorry. But that doesn't mean I'm not a part of Team Good Clean Fun. I'm here to stay. My heart. So if you don't play anymore, then what do you do? Oh, I show cast matches. So you yell at your teammates and cast them out if they fail? Wait, casting, casting. You do the play-by-play -play voiceover. Correct. Sorry, show cast comes from the earliest software for it. Kind of an old school term, and I 
And as the eldest here, I tend to use the language I grew up with. I'm like a sports announcer, giving the audience updates, introducing useless stats about the match, and building the hype by yelling, GOAL! I'm that person. Except replace sports with esports. Yeah, I got it. Well, you must really love it. To dedicate your life to knowing every little detail, to share and teach everyone watching, that takes a lot of passion. I can't help but get sucked in by the thrill of matchups. A player's passion is infectious, and I get caught up in it. You're so precious. Suddenly there's a beeping noise, and for once it's not Iris. My laundry! I forgot all about it! That's the timer for the next load. Listen, it's great chatting with you, but these socks won't find their matches themselves. You should go introduce yourself to the rest of the team. They're all good folks, if not a bit interesting in their own way. You'll see what I mean. Oh, they're all very fascinating. But don't forget to come and find me later when you're ready to start your training. Catch you later. Bye, baby. I love them. I love them so much. Shoutcast, right? All the announcers I've watched have always had the, a full E-tank and 110 non-stop power, but Rhapsody's so chill. Too chill to fit the profile. They didn't even raise their voice once, probably because they're resting it. Unlike me, they're smart and take care of their voice, unlike me, who's just constantly yelling. However, they do know a ton about FOD2, which is advantageous for that profession. And how could I forget they wanted to teach me? Sign me up, professor. I'm officially hot for teacher! I don't mind being kept late after class for private lessons with Professor Rhapsody. <laughs> they can teach me a thing or two and not just about FOD. God, the thirst! The thirst is so real in this game. I'm here for it. My professional attire really adds to fantasy, too. Maybe I should invest in a school uniform. Oh my god. <sighs> I love this. I shake the dirty thoughts from my mind for now, focus. But still, I'd love to spend more time with them in general. Zapper, let's do this, baby. I know, I know, thank you. I haven't been drinking as much water and I really should be considering how thirsty I've been. I, rushed, I approached the young woman busy playing the elaborately named Metal Geddon for Rise of Steel. She's so cute. I love her. And now it looks like my head is exploding. Oh my god, it looks like that's on top! Sorry, it's cute, it's fun, I'm here for it, I love it. She doesn't notice my approach to engross in the laying waste of pixelated post apocalyptic robot towards. I may not know much about arcades, but I think I've heard of this sort of game. Light guns, right? They shoot light or something? No clue how that works. I just, I like the music a lot. I also love her tattoos. I forgot. She has those sweet sleeves, like the, the forearm sleeves. Like, oh God, I love it. I know, I know. They're so cute. Everybody's adorable. I'm very much here for it. But one thing I'm pretty sure of is she's using both the player one and player two guns at the same time. Mm, badass. Despite the ridiculousness of that John Woo style, she's landing every shot. Yeah, th that shirt's pretty cute too. I still want Ben's. Ben's is so cute with like kind of it's like the logo. Should probably wait a, wait for her to finish, but just lurking without at least a single word is probably not cool at all. Hey. Die, die, die. I love her. I love her energy. And then she's just tapping her foot impatiently, waiting for the boss robot to do something other than stand, in, stand around posing. Oh, I hate this RNG boss fight. Either speed drones in a predictable pattern, or don't bother sending them at all. I mean, can you believe this sh? It's 20 and game designers are still relying on quarter munching RNG in their games. It's like they don't give a crap about consistent pacing and excitement. It's totally okay for like seven drones to hit at once and then nothing for 15 seconds, huh? Boring. Oh, baby. But honestly, I feel worse for the speedrunners. I've got a cousin who's got the world record time on MG3, but it took hundreds of tries to get a perfect cycle. I think you're right, Katzi. I think he's. I think she did. I loved everything that Naomi wore in the last game, though. Period too. Like I don't know, the apron, everything was just so cute. Oh, love that girl. Between her and Queen B, just oh, Miss Queen B. I miss 
<laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Step on me. She was great. I, uh, but Naomi was just precious and like, I just wanted to go cuddle her. They're just different moods is really what my, those girls were. And I love them so much for it. Finally, more drones. Ugh, about time. While I just stare on in silent confusion. Finally, after laying waste to the metal minions of the metal getting metal lord, she starts being a giant over her shoulder. Who are you? Uh, okay. Uh, let's be, we're gonna be a little goofy with her. Impudent fleshling, I am the metal getting metal lord, and I have a sternly wooden letter of complaint regarding your disparaging of my drones. How dare you slander the metal lord? My lawyers will hear of this. <laughs> Cute. She resumes lasering down robots with a, with a big grin on her face as she keeps chatting with me. So, what's your deal anyway? Right. I already won Jinx's favor. If I can keep that ball rolling, I can make this official. Here we go. Best foot forward. Make the best possible impression. Do not put our put our foot in our mouth again. I talked to Jinx about maybe joining your FOD2 team and... Sure, okay. Sounds fine, you're in. Wait, seriously? She finishes up her game hoisting the player one and two light guns before turning to face me proper. Seriously. We're pretty much stuck in a rut right now. Not chasing down FOT glory like we oughta, in my opinion. Maybe having somebody else on the team willing to take things head on will be the swift kick in the ass team GCF needs. Gives me a good look over, head to toe, and nods in smirking approval. Helps that you're a hottie, I mean. Can't be providing all the hotness on this team alone. It gets tiring. Hi! Yeah, no, I know. I, You know what? Had the exact same thing to say about you, darling. I love her. Anyways! <laughs> so why not? You and I, two of a kind, let's do this. It was especially easy, but I guess I shouldn't complain. Never kick a gift, gift horse in the mouth. I, uh, thanks, thank you? Yeah. Don't mention it. We fist, fist, <laughs> we fisters? Phrasing? Gotta stick together, yeah? I understand, but also. <laughs> I told you, this, uh, the, the dialogue is just me and how I speak. It is perfect for this reason. <laughs> fisters, are we not doing phrasing anymore? Like, I just said that. Hey, I like little nicknames, so sue me. So do I, baby. But fine, we'll do phrasing. I can do phrasing. So is that why it's called Team GCF? Because you like things sharp and snappy? Nah, RT doesn't really have any kind of official name. It's a, uh, what do you call it? Working title. I take it Jinx told you about our little gang of weirdos? More or less. She told me nothing, actually. Honestly, we're barely a team. I've been pushing for us to really get on top of this stuff, but I'm just one out of the six. Okay, so two out of seven isn't exactly majority either, but it's still one more than I had before. You know I'm down. So, if my friends want you in, then I'm down with that. You're in. Done so. They're good people, and I know I can trust their judgment. Besides, I don't really sit around and ruminate. I see something that looks fun, and I go for it. Nine times out of ten, I'm rewarded. The tenth time? Eh, crash and burn with a valuable learning experience is my reward. Also a good thing. So, yeah. I'm impulsive as shit, and, uh, no, but I'm not completely reckless. I'm just not willing to let an opportunity slip out of fear of what might go wrong. I feel like I am her. I'm cool with newcomers joining her clique, anything to liven up the party a bit. Then she pauses as if, as if trying really hard to remember something she forgot. Ooh, right. I forgot to tell you my name. Duh. She's this ready and willing to sign me on as her partner in crime, but totally forgot basic instructions. Name Zapper, as in the great granddaddy of all legends. As in a Zappa, 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 Kapow! You know. I love her. I love her so much. Okay, in fact, I, I don't, in fact, know exactly what she was refer referencing. PC games have never had plastic gun controllers. And I'm Chaotic Rogue, which I already told you. Pleased to meet you. Kind of fun. Oh, so do you, sweetheart. Also, as noted, a hottie. Meaning you and I could hit the streets and run this whole town if we wanted to. Take me now. She declines to specify if we'd be a hottie tag team or a mixed doubles affair in this particular scenario. 
You wanna go a few rounds against the Metal Lord? I can give you some tips. Tip number one, trigger discipline. Don't look down the barrel. That's tip two. Tip three is hand sanitizer, because kitties love this game and they've got gross hands. Where she goes too deep in her list, I decide to clarify a point. Can't say I've ever played one of these games before. I've been played plenty of first-person shooters on my PC. Not the same thing. I'm just gonna correct myself on this one. Um, no, not really. Light gun ramps are on light rails. Uh, they sweep you, or, or on rails. They sweep you through a scene like a Hollywood camera director. Way more exciting. And instead of nudging a mouse less than two centimeters and clicking, you gotta aim and fire a physical gun. Your aim sucks, you suck. Okay, I'll grant you having no control over your movement means less tactical and strategic, but eh, fuck. Tactical strategy, strategy stuff, I prefer an adrenaline rush. And Wait, you mean you've never played a light gun game? You're just a PC gamer? Crap, my, my arcade newbiness is leaking through. Curse my computer-based gaming heritage. I expect her to mock, miss, mock me endlessly for being a nothing, no-nothing doofus, but... Oh man, I haven't talked to a newbie in ages! This will be great! Why are you perfect? Aw, yeah. Half the fun of being an arcade gamer is sharing what you love with the newbies. Most people I talk to are veterans, and I'm not as easily impressed. So you won't rake me over the coals for being a noob? You kidding? There's nothing better than a warm sub arcade version! <laughs> warm and sub <laughs> Zapper! Baby, you can't do this to me! Yeah, okay, that was a bit of a step too far. What else? Welcome back to begin again. My point is, I think you'll have a blast learning all this stuff, and I'll be happy to be your guide. But I have one question for you, and this is absolutely, utterly important, so consider your words carefully. I'm in love with her. Oh boy, my anxiety speaks, spikes briefly as I nod for her to continue. Can you be awesome? Yeah, awesome in what way? Every way. I don't give a fuck about win loss rating. What I care about is being awesome. This girl. I need someone who can be just as awesome as I am, ready to pull the risk taking, high flying, stylish moves, both in game and in real life. You think you can get on my level? Well, now. Awesome is my middle name and my last name. You think uh, you? I think you underestimate just how fucking awesome I am. I start every morning by somersaulting out of my bedroom window. I chug a bottle of Sunny D and do a wicked kickflip over a pit of tigers flying straight into the sun. So yeah, I can be awesome. Her face lights up like a zillion firecrackers going off at once. Fuck yeah. You and I, we're gonna get along just fine. Satisfied she steps back from my personal space and I'm thankful for getting some breathing room. No, I'm not. That's a lie. She can stay up as up close and personal as she wants. Sorry, sorry, I can come up a bit strong, I know. I think we have different definitions of a bit, but it's cool, it's cool. I'll admit though, I'm surprised to hear someone with pro tour aspirations who is so focused on style. Whatever happened to play to win? Isn't the whole point of playing the game to, you know, beat the opponent and win the match? Meh. Hate that, meh, I hate that phrase. I hate that whole concept. Play to win, what a joke. Remember back when Silent Blade could slash dash you over and over in an infinite combo? Cheap as hell. Pathetic. But technically legal since the game allowed for it. If you aren't using Silent Blade infinite loops, you aren't playing to win. They told me you call it cheap, only scrubs ignore effective tactics. This is so f***ed up. But it was boring to watch and it was frustrating seeing all these serious-minded optimism junkies, optimization junkies, content to loop each other to death. Ah! And the makers of FD2 even agreed because they patched it out. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat it, jerkos. Me, I don't play to win. I play to be awesome. I play to have fun. See, woman after my own heart here. Do I like winning? Hell yeah. I mean, who doesn't? But I'm gonna do it my way. Or I don't do it at all. And anyone who calls me a scrub because I play how I want to play can get fucked. Perhaps realizing that she's been giving off an rant, sap her down the back a bit after that. Sorry, we speak from the heart. The only way I know how to live. The, literally a conversation I had with my coworkers. Um, I had somebody, they were gonna respond somewhere and, they're and they're, they came up with a very, I'm like, oh look, I'm so glad that you can be the diplomatic one. Cause unfortunately I have lost all diplomacy at this time of the afternoon. 
is great. This is also why I do not work alone. Later. I can't be diplomatic. I just ran out of that by that point. Hey, I need to try to get one more MG4 run in before the after school rush hits this place. We'll talk later, okay? Sure thing. Have fun smashing up robots and stuff. Okay, you metal bastards, round two. I leave Zapper to on an ending quest to put laser blasts through slowly trundling chrome skeleton men and depart. That was intense. As for my thoughts on this new teammate, well, I love you. Zapper's a sports car cruising down the open road with no brakes, blasting high intensity rock music with a convertible top down, and I am into that. Kinda helps that she seems to be into me too. I've never been called a hottie before. It's not exactly a classical sonnet of love, but so what? Feels good. I think I may end up spending more time with her to get a bit more of that in my life. We'll see. Okay, whom do I want to talk to next? I only have one more person. I know we're running a lot later than I normally do, but that's okay. We're probably, probably go to either 7.30 or 8 for once. Um, mostly because I just want to see where this, this takes me. And then we might play additional streams between now and Monday. I don't know, it's gonna be TBD. Because I like you know how I am. I'm not gonna be able to stop thinking about this game. Ugh. Also, it comes out tomorrow. For the record, everybody, like this is your weekend plans, y'all. I am getting you into this. You're gonna go buy it and spend the weekend playing it. Okay, okay. Go on to Steam. Go wish list now. Right, meow. Um. Anyways, sorry advertising bit aside but like honestly genuinely go pick this game up um it's beautiful it's brilliant hell maybe i'll gift a copy of it or something like that maybe next week Ooh, that might actually be fun we might gift a copy of this on steam to somebody next week mostly because i'm clearly obsessed so you know all right Last but not least, a young woman sits at a table, largely ignoring her half-eaten salad in favor of the beeps and boops of the game she's playing. And she's playing her lunch break RPG session on a 30-year-old portable game console? Seriously? That's some retro dedication. Ugh. Hey, no, don't knock it. I still have my Game Boy in the other room, okay? Immediately, I feel a bit self-conscious about literally rolling up to someone minding their own business. Rather than being stuck trying to find a non-creepy way to introduce myself, she notices my approach and offers a greeting for, for a greeting first. Oh, um, hello. Can I help you with something? You look lost. I know. No, actually, I want to talk to you. Jinx suggested I get your approval for joining Team GCF. My tag's Kayla. My name's Grace. That's like just my name. My name is Grace. I don't use aliases or gamer tags or anything. I love you. And you want to join us? Really? Huh. Although, if Jinx thinks you could be a good friend, maybe? I do trust her implicitly, just... It seems weird, you know? But I'm not actually much of a team, more of a social club or something. Just a circle of friends who happen to play FOD2. I know, I know, I'm aiming for the pro tour myself, so it's a weird fit, but what can I say? This is where I'm supposed to be, apparently. Supposed to be? Was there a prophecy or something? If you can adorable a little lap that has definitely been pirated named Iris as a soothsayer, then yeah, sure, we can call it prophecy. Iris sent you here. Oh, well, okay. That changes everything. Hello. Oh, I recognize your voice now. Sorry, I'm freshly installed, so I'm still cross-linking my databases. But that's my mom. Hi, mom. Oh, yeah, you're the one who designed Iris. Wait, 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 Mom? Iris calls you Mom? I have questions. Um, right. Hi. <laughs> uh, I sort of invented Iris. I mean, it was a group effort. Not just me, but I led the team that made her. We'd inherited a pile of half-finished projects in ancient code from various dead companies. Funware, Dynamic Systems, Retrowave, Cinus Lotion. It was my idea to put all the pieces together into a single package. A virtual assistant with a winning personality. And an obsession with pizza bagels, of which it makes me crave every single time. Well, that was years ago, during an internship in my sister's company. And long before Iris got pulled off the market. Yeah, why did she get pulled off the market? Thankfully, I, uh, I mean, someone leaked her code and 
Now there's folk servers around so they can live freely. I'd hate to see Iris and her sisters killed. So someone leave the crowd, eh? She shuffles nervously in her seat at the implied accusation. I will never, neither confirm or deny. I shouldn't be talking about this at all. I don't entirely know why my sister tried to kill Iris. There are rumors, scary rumors. I'm not involved, I have new projects now. I've moved on, I, even if I'm proud of my work with Iris. I have to move on if the wrong people pay attention to me. Look, can we please change the subject, please? Aha, I was just trying to tease her, I'm so sorry. You're gonna play games, right? I like games, always have. They've been my passion long before I got interested in AI research. Grace shows me the gray plastic chunk of retro gaming hardware lying on her table next to her lunch. This is actually the very first game console I ever owned as a kid. Bought it used for my allowance. After I got bored of the limited games I could play, I upgraded it myself. Replaced the screen with the color LCD, changed the guts from a miniature PC motherboard. All on my own dime. Well, the dimes my family were willing to give me anyway. They saw video games as a waste of time. Really? I thought games were always were big business. Always have been, always will be. But not uh, quite as important to society as whatever random mishmash of tech my siblings took up. But I love games. I especially love console games. You can't do long narratives or open world RPGs with, with, with arcade cabinets. Sounds like PC games too. Of course. Exactly. I mean, I mean, I do play FOD too. I enjoy the puzzle of it, but I prefer to sink most of my hours into RPGs. Woman after my own heart here. Japanese Western don't care. Even developing my own RPG, actually, The Wander Lost Trail. Um, it's a working title. Well, it's pretty slow since it's just me, but it helps make a living, breathing world beyond compare. Um, I can sympathize. I feel ya. PC gamers, we know what it's like to go on, go one more turn and next thing you know, the sun's gone down and come back up. Can't imagine doing that standing up in an arcade cabinet. Exactly! To really delve deep into a game, that's one... That's not as shallow as blasting aliens or munching dots. One that's not as shallow as, yeah. A game that's more than just a game. A game that is the world. Then she realizes her salad is starting to wilt, left unattended for so long. Oh, I should finish this up. Finish this up. I need to clear this dungeon, too. Sorry. Sorry, I tend to ramble a lot once I get on a roll. It's fine. It's fine. Hardly ramble at all and enjoy your Bye. lunch. Bye for now. Soon enough, she's buried herself deeply in the twin activities of nourishing her body and mind, shutting me out completely. She cute. She, that was a relief, meeting a friendly person with no strings attached. Not I could spot anyway, right? She cute! I'll admit it, my heart did a little wobble wobble on seeing her. She's so incredibly cute, I had to struggle to speak clearly. Knowing that a beauty like her also has a strong heart and a brilliant mind, that's everything I've ever dreamed of. I wonder if, you know, she'd be interested. Maybe? I guess we'll see. Whoops, everybody! Grace is pretty dumb. Yeah, you... <laughs> Yeah, that sounds, that feels right. That feels like it. I, I like all of them. That's the problem. That is my ash. That's my issue right now. I love all of them. Spending so long indoors soaking in the smells of detergent, pepperoni, and brass tokens has been draining, so I decided to step out and get some fresh air. Fresh air and a moment of reflection. With the fact that I like everyone. <laughs> Still a bit confused. The team's barely a team. It's a ragtag bunch of friends, individual friends without any cohesive direction. I left the apartment this morning hoping to live out my dream of being an FOD2 champion. But it's a great question. Can I date multiple? No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Sorry, my brain immediately went to quoting Reboot. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out the fun way. We're going to see what's doable. We're gonna see if all is an option, or at least more than one is an option. Otherwise, what I'm, okay. At a certain point, I'm probably gonna start doing multiple saves, um, which is something I did a lot with Arcade Spirits anyways, just cause I was like, I wanted to see different, how different things played out sometimes. So at certain junctures, I might see if I, like even at the end of each chapter, I'm like always doing new saves. Actually speaking of, let's just do a quick,
we're gonna start saving a bunch. And that's the nice part about these games is they have like 20 million save slots. Um, so that way I can play out different storylines. So is this gonna be the game I play on stream for like the next month? Very, very, very likely. Um, but we'll see how this goes. So I'm like at key intervals, cause so far I'm making a good impression with everybody. So I can kind of, we're gonna be on good footing. Um, I think I may have screwed up slightly with Domino, but otherwise I think everybody else I did really good. Should have gone goofy with him and I didn't, so. Anyways. So why exactly did Iris lead me here? I think I'm out some answers by this point. <laughs> well, joke's on you. Iris, got a moment? Sure thing, what's up? Um, I'm glad to join their Brady Bunch, but it's not what I So I think they'll be a lot of fun to hang around with, but I'm still back at square one in terms of my pro tour dream. I wouldn't want to push them into doing something they have no interest in. That'd just be cruel and irresponsible. But it also means that I still need to find a team. So thank you for opening up my social circle a bit. That's all good, but now what do I do? Tell me, why do you want to win the pro tour so badly? What do you mean, why? It's the pinnacle to reach for. It's the pro tour championship. Why wouldn't I want that? Except, before the championship existed, you were content to play on an amateur level. It's not about the glory or even your childhood dream, is it? So, why? Why do you need this victory so badly? Again, with the hard-hitting questions! Everyone's trying to be their best selves, right? To really live up to their potential? That's me. I'm being my best self. <coughs> Sorry, I'm choking on air. If it makes me happy to reach for the gold and see it through, it's a good thing. Why shouldn't I have confidence in myself? It's not about wanting to win a game, it's about why you want to win, the truth behind the dream. And I'm sorry to say I calculated your truth from your own words posted to social media. Just so you realize I'm not making this up, let me quote some of these back at you. The words didn't earn her voice, but I'm definitely the one who wrote them as she echoes these short messages back to me. Oh good, no good answers. Um, one more day of converting calories and Hi, Nyx! <gasps> Hello, Stream Kitten! She's like, Mom, you don't normally play this late. Mom? Hello, Stream Cat. How are you? This is Nyx. She doesn't like being on camera half the time. Oh, hey, BK! That and Loki wanted Queen Bee Re- Listen! We would love a Queen Bee Reunion at the end, okay? Hi, B. Little B. Little stinky B. Hi, B. No, she's like, no, Mom, I don't want this. I don't want to be on camera, Mom. I would like wet food. I will get you your dinner soon, my love. Um, yeah, truth be told, the real lie is to see Queen B at the end. Yeah, hi, B. You're not the Queen B. You're just a little stink bug. Yeah, you silly B. So there's no, okay, I like when they advertise it like this, like there's no good answer here, which means I'm about to get embarrassed by my own words, which is kind of neat that I get to at least choose the words that I put into my mouth. Um, I still remember how proud they were when I came home with that trophy, it felt so good. One more day of converting calories into ladder points, I swear this will be worth it in the end. Okay, you miserable little piece of shit, if you think you're such hot shit, then 1v1 me, oh god. Um... <laughs> It was just kitty soccer, but my trophy was bigger, shinier. We won. We would actually won the regionals. My parents were so happy. They clapped for me, told me I was a champion. They made me pancakes. You want pancakes, Pete? This is Nyx, and she's being a little blit. I've been chasing that feeling ever since. It's a wonderful feeling, being wrapped up in praise and pride. I want to be a champion. I have to be a champion. Champion. Greatest of them all, you're a champion. Watching too much drag race. Anyways. <laughs> I have to be a champion. I have to win. That's all I have going for me in the end. My life kind of sucks, apparently. I didn't realize how hard I was biting my lip until the reading ended. I really need to speak in my defense. I mean, I should. Even defending the indefensible. I, I didn't awake for 20 hours running when I wrote that. Obviously, I have more going on in my life than just winning all the time. Iris shakes her head at my words, seeing right through them and explains. In your heart, 
You feel that if you aren't constantly winning, you must be a loser, a fraud, an imposter. Yo, Iris, you don't have to come for me so hard, okay? This isn't even the only time you talked about it. I could cite more examples if you like. We're starting early with feeling things. Nearly all of your social media communication is related to your gaming habits. Not your job or family or, or friends. This is all you have. All you feel you have. You've built up so much of your dream around this game. Around winning this game. That your whole self-worth is tied into it. And I think you see the obvious problem with that. I hope. Maybe. I pause, feeling rather attacked by my, when my own phone lays into me, but there's sympathy in her digital voice, not accusation. She's sure she doesn't want to call you out? I'm feeling particularly called out right now. She wants me to call myself out. What do you think will happen if you join the Pro Tour and fail to make it all the way to an ultimate victory? I will not be happy. <laughs> you see the obvious problem with that, right? Nope, nope, I don't! Can't see what I don't want to see! Hello! <laughs> On with the competition! How would you react? I, I mean, I get it. Logically, I'm the only one. Uh, logically, only one team wins the Pro Tour, so it's not like I'm betting my entire existence on winning. Except you are. That's exactly what you're doing. Your self-esteem is on the line every day you compete. Don't know what you're talking about. Wanting to win a video game is fine. It's a good thing. And I'm certainly not arguing against having a dream and making it happen. But it's not healthy to gamble your self-esteem at the same time, tying them both together. Do you dream of winning? Or are you just terrified of losing and feeling pain? Listen, if I keep going, I don't feel the pain. I could sense that when I analyzed you. I may be code instead of flesh and blood. God damn it, Iris. I'm an empathy engine at heart. Iris, can you not just go back to the pizza facts? Instead of the feels. But I couldn't just say that outright. You wouldn't have believed me. So I had to leave you here. To people who can help you find something more to reach for while also reaching for victory. And you can help them, too. The goal of any Irish should be to help as many people as possible. She smiles up at me, hopeful that I'll understand her words. Why can't I have an Iris in real life? Like, I'm not gonna lie, I love her so much. For example, Jinx has had to overcome adversity for years, never giving up in the face of a challenge. A lot like you, but her victory is in finding her way through life. She's an insightful one. I'm sure if you two sat down and talked, she could help you with your dreams. Now that said, if all you want to be is Chaotic Rogue, Destroyer of Scrubs, I'm not going to force you down this path. The Legend of Chaotic Rogue will be yours to do with as you please. Uninstall me and I'll bother you no further. You have free will. But if you're also Parker Wallace, who desperate, who's desperate to fill the hole in her heart with victories, please consider staying with Team GCF for your own sake, and I'll help you on any way I can on this path. I'll turn myself off now, give you time to think. If you never speak again, no, I won't take it personally. Thank you. Out of respect to Iris, I decide to take the question seriously. All day long, I've been focused on it, savoring it, wanting this team situation to work out so I can get more of it. Winning. Every story I've ever read tells you to chase your dreams no matter what. That's a noble thing to do, right? And this was my dream. From as far back as I can remember, my wildest dreams were always ones of victory. Sure, I have a job, I pay my taxes, I have friends, usually online. I head out of town to visit my extended family almost every holiday season. But none of that moves me. It gets, really gets me out of bed and moves me. No. My dream moves me, and that dream was to keep on being a winner forever. And isn't that enough? Isn't it a good thing to be the very best like no one ever was? Bam, no, 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 to catch them is no, that's not it. Wrong timeline. Wrong FYP. Who am I? Who do I really want to be? Life decision? gonna go with this 
No helping it. She's right. I haven't really been think seeing things from that perspective before, and she's definitely right. Sickening feeling whenever I lose, whatever I'm a loser. Winning feels better, feels right. Without it, I feel miserable, like I'm miserable. Miserable, pathetic, little nothing. And I'm not so far gone as to think it's a healthy way to live. If Iris thinks this new path can help me, so be it. I owe it to myself to at least try. I tap Iris's icon not to uninstall it, but to activate it. Okay. You're right, Iris. I might need help. And if you think Team GCF can provide that help, well, I'm willing to try. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me. And for what it's worth, if you can still try out for the Pro Tour, if that's what you want. Be aware of why you want that victory, too. If you can find a way to achieve your dream in an emotionally healthy manner, well, that'd be great. And with Team GCF in your corner, I calculate you can do just that. What's your calculation percentage, Iris? Are you going to give me... Clearly, I still hold it against her for that fake percentage she gave me in the first game. Team GCF needs Parker, and Parker needs Team GCF. A deep sigh, I try to push most of this aside and focus on the here and now. You can keep calling me Chaotic Rogue. It's my self-chosen name. Okay, well, I've given you enough food for thought. I think I should let you chew on it for a bit. Iris, offline. Still not totally sure what to make of this if my dream is one of victory, but victory is unhealthy. Well, what do I do? What now? But as I'm pondering exactly what shape my new dream should take, I hear a voice behind me. Good to see you. Hi, babe. Got a minute? I have a number of minutes, yes. Jinx pauses to observe me and my somewhat lost expression soaking up before continuing. I was talking with the others. Figured we didn't give you what you were hoping for back there. Let's do this. Came back to kick some out. Came here to kick some ass in FOD2, right? So let's kick some ass. Show you were more than a pile of casual randos. Though, you seem a bit shook up there. You good? If you want to take a walk, think things through, that's fine by me. My head's still reeling from Iris, Iris, from, my head's still reeling from Iris upending. Oh, I don't know, just every preconceived notion I had about myself, but. Won't deny FOD2 helps me clear my head and focus. No, I think I should push a few rounds of FOD2 first, then maybe think things over. She nods, understanding completely. Need to talk, I'll be around. Practically and literally live here, so not hard to find me. I'll be waiting inside for you. Take your time. Feels strange. Agreeing to go play the game that slam dunked me right into this mess. But um, if I'm not going to just walk away from all this, away from gaming in general, I owe it to myself to keep moving forward, if only to see what will happen. Iris didn't tell me to stop playing, so until I can figure out my answers, I guess I'll keep playing. And honestly, I think distracting myself with a little FOD2 would be nice right about now. Win or lose. With the shrug, I head into good, clean fun, headed for the arcade. By the time I arrive in the arcade, the rest of the crew is already gathered, talking amongst themselves. When I approach, they switch their focus to me. Hello, the newbie hath returned. Excellent. Let's get this party started. That's gimmicky infringement, Zapper. I only get to use the King's English, but yes, it is quite excellent indeed. Jinx just offers me quiet, knowing, not appreciation, not prone to flowery speeches. I love them, though. Okay, so we decided we're going to spend the rest of the afternoon taking turns playing some Fist of Discomfort 2 in honor of our new friend. We'll take turns beating up online randos, and those not playing can cheer the other ones on. It'll be educational and fun. And you get Chris Crockett out, of course, so who's your lucky partner for the inaugural match of this afternoon's festivities? Oh, crap, I gotta pick somebody. Save. Save. Save here. For a moment, I'm speechless. Figured it'd just be like pulling teeth, getting them to play my game, but here they are, ready to welcome me into the fold with some hot ninja fight in action. Thanks, everyone. It'll be nice to show off a little, too. I could use an ego boost. Thankfully, I brought my keyboard from home to play with. I'm not so used to arcade joysticks yet. Um, I may not know much about arcades, but I do know FOD2 has a built-in arcade, sli built-in slide-out tray and USB port you can bring a joystick from home. I tuck my keyboard out from my backpack, slot it into place, and fortunately, the numb lock turns green when I plug it in. It's good to go. Aside from the weird looks I'm getting from everyone, I was probably the only person on the planet Earth who prefers to play this game, WSAD Keys. Now then, whom to play with? Cheat. 
I have to choose one. I don't know who to pop. Guys, I don't know! I already have to choose between them and I can't! Okay, oh! No, new plan, new plan, new plan! New plan, best plan! Dice, sorry. Are we rolling a d6 on this one? Yeah, you betcha. I've given up, okay guys. Six, jinx. Yep. That's how we're deciding things at times here. <laughs> Listen, I can't make decisions a lot of the times, okay? I need someone swift and accurate. Can't think of a better partner than our resident racing queen. How about her, Jinx? Sounds like a plan. Let's roll. Jinx fetches a nearby backpack, pulling out a glowing blue biofeed joystick. She uncurls the cable and plugs it into the USB port in the front of the game. Not exactly standard, but these gimmicky sticks are easier on my wrists. All set. Before we can begin, my phone chimes in from the depths of my pocket with a question. Hey, can I ask a favor? Starting, starting as a blank slate here, a default iris. I don't really have any knowledge of how this game you're all obsessed with actually works. Wait. She calculated what team I should join without knowing how FOD2 works in the first place? Weird. I think it'd help if you two played through a match while explaining the basics to me. Your computer. Can't you just, like, jack into the Matrix and instantly know FOD2 Kung Fu or something? Oh, I could go download the data. I really need to be great at this game. I mean, computers have been beating humans at games for decades. She said with a tiny puff of pride in her voice. But I'm an emotional language interpreter. Hearing things in your own words helps me learn. So if you don't mind, could you give me a quick tutorial? Okay, I'm... We'll go through the tutorial, we'll play whatever this first match is, and then I think that's what we're gonna call it for today. Right, so do you know anything about the original Fist of Discomfort before it went on a two-on-two -two battle format? Oh! Why aren't you going? Oh my god, sorry. Okay, we're good. Sorry, that was taking a while and it wasn't clicking, and I don't know why. Sort of? It's MOBA, right? Multiplayer online battle arena. Fight down the lanes, destroy the enemy dojo. Okay, so you've got some data. Good. The game's changed considerably with the sequel. Now it's less about zone control and more of a score attack game. Stories of two rival clans vying for control of the legendary sacred dojo. For one full year, they fought down the bridge of destiny until winter they reached their ultimate destination. At that point, the dojo doors opened, allowing in only the most worthy and the most honorable clan. The other is exiled from the lands forever. <laughs> Such a rich and involving backstory. Now nah, it's just a goofy way of saying score more points than the other team before time runs out. Each team has two players and an unending swarm of ninja minions. Each stage is one giant kung fu fight scene. Each minion you beat up scores you points. Each time you KO an enemy player, you score points. Your goal is to score the most points before the game ends. To do that, you have to optimize counterplay and outthink your opponents. We farm ninjas for gold, buy weapons, scroll summons, more minions, use special moves and cooldowns. Whoa, whoa, slow down. This is sounding complicated. Complicated as hell. Cre creep wave timing, item builds, last hitting, character tier rankings. We boil it all down. All you really need to know is the RPS metagame. The, uh, what? RPS metagame. Or, wait for it, rock, paper, scissors. Wait. The most complicated esport in the world is just rock, paper, scissors. Basically, everything else is just nitty gritty details. At the heart of it all, there's four tactics to pick from. Hey. There we go. Sorry. Maybe it's my mouse. Defending against the aggressor, using powerful special abilities, or just directly attacking the enemy within their ninjas. Rock, paper, scissors. I mean, if you look at it closely, the icons are literally a rock, a paper, scroll, and two swords crossed like scissors. So... The obvious one is to attack, diving in and fighting with your fists and blades. It interrupts anyone using a special ability. But if they're defending, it won't work. Scissors beat paper, but is beaten by rock. You're getting it, yeah. Defending holds the line against incoming attacks, but gets blown away by slower, activating stronger special abilities. You can't react quickly enough. 
Specials are big, flashy, and awesome and can blow away defenders. But a quick aggro attacker can interrupt you. I'm guessing this attack those identity traits you've been analyzing would be a good indicator of how strong you are with each ability too. That would make sense. A very steady person would be excellent at figuring out exactly the right time to use a special. Yep, Gutsy is great for attacking, kindly can defend well, and Quirky is probably a jack of all trades. Got it! So all I need to know are those three techniques? Well, there's a fourth, a trump card, your ultimate ability. Each team can only use one of those per game. Your ult smashes through everything. Everything. And if your opponent tries to ultimate at the same time, yours counters it for huge points. Jinx and I will be taking on two other players, trying to predict their attacks, defenses, defenses, specials, and ultimates, countering with our own. Do that well enough and you win. I see, so really you just need to know those four things and that's enough to follow the flow of a match. That's the basics. They're all supposed to points based on your skill and what season of the year you're in, but we'll go over that as we play. Here, we'll start up a game so we can show you. Jinx drops in two quarters, one for each of us, and fires up the online matchmaker to find us a good pair of punchy bags to demonstrate our skills on. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Okay, so I've played against these particular randos before. It should be a good warm-up for us. Mr. Come at me, bro, loves to attack, but he's not dense enough to do it all the time. But more often than not, he'll be in your face. He's also bad at predicting our moves. I should start by defending since he's likely to rush at me. Fight. So come at me, bro wants to come at me, fine! Ah, I try to love and defend against the attacks, keeping myself and my minions safe. Okay. Score is now 120 to zero. Not bad, not bad at all. My turn, guessing my opponent is more by the book, goes for the season bonus. Wait, seasons? As the game progresses, we move through spring, summer, fall, winter. Our point bonuses for each different actions in different seasons is not much, but every point helps, and sometimes it makes opponents predictable if they crave those points. And the enemy in Jinx's lane is very predictable. In spring, he likes attacks, summer he defends, fall he uses specials. And what season is good for your- what's that called? Your ultimate? Ah, the ultimate different. Our team gets one ultimate per game. Jinx or I can use it, but once we use it, it's gone. But when we do use it, we win. Period. It trumps whatever your opponent was trying. And if we counter their ultimate with our own, well, that's practically a game over right there. Oh, so you have to choose when to use it. Right, and our opponents will be doing the same. I don't think that they'll use their ultimate this early in the game, though. I'd say he's most likely to attack this turn, so Jinx would be better off to find them. So we're gonna, gonna follow need more than that to keep me down. Woo! You get the idea now, right? Back and forth, Jinx and I fight these two players deciding our overall strategy as the year progresses. I think I've got it. Wait, no, I don't got it. I mean, I've got most of it, but how are the points determined? I noticed some actions score better than others. Well, there's a seasonal bonus, like a bonus to attacking in spring. But otherwise, your skill bonuses come into play. Skill bonuses depend on your personality. What strategy you can excel at you can change depending on who you are as a person. Shifts your skills, you know? I actually really like that that impl like, impacts the overall mechanic for this. I'm rather kindly. I'm great at defending to save myself and friends. So you're a steady hand spec. Specialer, an empathetic frontline tank, and a bold and brash PvP master, or a goofy jack of all trades. Which is all kind of moot, moot if you fail the rock, paper, scissors metagame. You don't score anything if you get counterplay. Ah, uh, true. Okay, I think I get it. Focus on your fight and we'll see you win. Even if winning isn't everything, even if I need to be okay with losing, that doesn't mean I shouldn't try to lose. I should try to lose. I'll give it all I've got. Okay. Um. You both attack, it's a tie. Uh, D book. Oh, come on. Your attack loses their defense. Oh, shit. Okay. Hack, hack, hack. Um. Damn it.
Oh shit, they use their ultimate. Okay, I'm in trouble. I'm in danger. Our best shot is to team up, combining our skill bonuses together, but they're going to be doing the same, so it may be harder to predict their moves. The end game is critical. Okay, let's wrap this up. Knowing these randos first move, well, anything goes, but by the book, tries to force special moves out on the very last turn, and they get reckless, less able to counterplay us. Let's close this out. There we go, using the ultimates. circle <laughs> there we go okay score is now 610 to 440 and we win although that was tight for a second there faster stronger and we had all we needed to win this race oh my life no i want to play this this is fun this lets you decide whether you win or lose instead of having to actually play nah play mini games play the mini games With our admittedly pretty pathetic enemies crushed, the rest of Team GCF cheers for a victory. Feels good. Feels good to win. I know arms warned me about the dopamine hit of victory I'd become hooked on, but... Not bad at all. Interesting to play, see your playstyle in action, too. Having a front row seat was worth the price of admission. Tag with me again sometime. I'll see if I can learn some more from you. Thanks, Jinx. I know I was a bit pushy about wanting to play FOD2 earlier and pushy about the Pro Tour, but I'm still, you know, sorting out some feelings about that one. But I'm glad I had a chance to play with you, okay? Who's up next? Okay. We are gonna save here. Um, because it is like an hour later than I normally stream. Like, it is, we've been going for nearly three hours. Um, I haven't even noticed, which is, I think, the funny thing at the end of the day. Um, it is, I, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. This has been awesome. This is an awesome game. Again, comes out tomorrow. I really love this game. I really do. I'm really happy it's here. Um, yeah. And obviously, Chapter 1 has had so much end added to it. So, we'll see if we get around to it. I might try to play a little bit more this weekend. If not, we'll be back on Monday at 5 p.m. Uh, Steam. So, go check it out on Steam. That is... You, Steam, Arcade Spirits, New Challengers, drops tomorrow, so you can just wishlist it for right now. Um, so please go ahead and do that. Thank you so much again to P-Cube for sending me a version of the game early. I appreciate the hell out of it, because um, clearly I'm very in love with it. So anyways, thank you all for being here. Um, what I'll do is I'll add it, and I'll see if I can't set it up as a timer where you, like to get this game, but... I don't know, see if we can do something fun with it for next week. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for putting up with a three-hour stream. I haven't done one of those in a hot minute. Um, and yeah, I will let you know if I plan on doing any this weekend. If not, we'll see you Monday. Rawr, go drink your water. Rawr means I love you and dinosaur. Be good to each other. Um, and yeah, we will leave it there. Um... And you know what? Actually, we're gonna go throw a raid over because I haven't done that in a hot minute. So, who are we throwing it to? I have too many options. This is weird. I'm not used to having so many options. Um, we're gonna go throw a raid over to Ashenworks who's playing Destiny 2. And yeah, we're gonna leave it there for today. Thank you all for being here and I'll see you guys later. Bye.